What's up, everyone? This is Arnaldo, aka Mad Dog, and this is the real episode 161 of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. Uh, what's my line again? Uh, it's, it's it's on the script. Look oh, at the script. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, I got it. All right. All right. Start me at the top. All right, right. Okay. And Gigi's mouthful podcast and go. All right. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready now. Okay. All right, and go. Asuka. <laughs> oh. Sir, wrong podcast. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one more time from the top. All right. All right. All right. And <clears throat> I'm ready. I, I can do it this time. I believe you. I can do it this I, time. I know it's been a while. Yeah. yeah I know. I know. Okay. okay. All okay. right. And mouthful podcast and go. Sega. Nope. <sighs> nope. That's that's for the the old the, 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 the old, my old uh, job. Yeah. That's yes. right. I got confused. Yes. Okay. Okay. I got it right now. Okay. I know. I just it's here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, if you just just read it from right. the, from the from the top, just All read right. it. Right. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, Mouthful podcast and go. GG. Yes, <laughs> perfect. There Thank you go. so much. That Thank voice, you. of Thank course. You. Uh, it's been a while for him, so you gotta forgive him a little bit. Here. I, yeah, I, it, 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 yeah, I forgot the whole that no man can tour. I know, I know. Do. It happens. Yeah, you the know, formula. A couple weeks away. You know what? Well, yeah. I'm getting better. I, I, I think so. I, I got two lines on this podcast <laughs> now. I am yeah. taxi driver number two <laughs> <laughs> on this cast. <laughs> that voice, of course, is Mr. David Santos, aka Dream Twister, back. From the beautiful Caribbean. Back from the past. <laughs> from the, yes, evidently, right? <laughs> Back into Cuba the... is stuck in the past. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. No, I'm I'm very glad. First of all, always happy to have podcast day, podcast yes. night. It's not Friday. It's your Saturday. It's probably your Sunday. Who knows? Hmm. Probably on Where have you listened to this? Yes. Exactly. But I, uh, yeah, you, you're absolutely right. I came from vacation. I moved, you know, because I moved recently. And you had to celebrate. I had yeah. to celebrate. <laughs> and I was too tired already from the moving, so I need to take a vacation. I went to Cuba. Nice. I went to uh, uh, Key West, and I went to Mexico. Not in that order. But <laughs> <laughs> If it was, it was a little bit zigzag yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get the captain. Like, dude, there's a faster way of doing this. I'm just I know. Saying. I know. I even thought of uh, like taking taking my uh, Nintendo Switch, and oh. it, but I didn't. I was like, you know what? It, no. I, I should disconnect. I should you totally. Should disconnect. Yep. I mean, that <laughs> very hypocrite because of course I still have my internet on it. <laughs> When I say disconnect, I mean, I'm not going to game, I'm going to pay attention, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to give up the internet. So even uh, even in, in Cuba, where there was, uh, I mean, you know, there's no, no, no Wi-Fi, well, very few spots have it, and almost, I think we were overwhelming the only place where we went, <laughs> which was a little restaurant, a little awesome restaurant uh, in Havana mm-hmm. called uh, La Bodeguita del Medio. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we have we we have some good food there, but he said that it was that he had guest Wi-Fi, and I was surprised. <laughs> you know, shocked. I was shocked. So of course I was trying to connect, but uh, nope, nope, <laughs> it wasn't going anywhere. Uh, sir, your device is a little too ahead of our, our <laughs> Wi-Fi. I need you to get off of our signal, please. Thank you. Yeah, we can't print this uh, dot matrix thing back here because you're. <laughs> Because your phone is is completely <laughs> ruining everything. <laughs> I was, yeah, no, I was, I was impressed with the with the ingenuity oh. of the Cuban people. <laughs> yes. It is amazing. First of all, for, uh, and uh, well, I guess let's let's finish that thing so I can go into what we have been doing. So oh, we can okay, talk yeah, about yeah. It. Yeah. okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into it in a second, yeah, guys. Yeah. What we normally do. Uh, well, first off, thank you so much for tuning in. Always, please, like, subscribe, and share the podcast with all your friends and family, and go to goodgame.tech and join the conversation there. What we normally do on our weekly podcast, guys, is we first go into what we've been up to, move into various news items, and then finish with our hot topic of the week. This week's hot, hot topic. topic, we are finishing our E3 preview, the finale. Oh. Of the We're just, We've gone through the big dogs, Microsoft I and heard. Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, we went through uh, a couple of the other po- uh, um, press conferences that are going to be, and today we're going to finish it up, uh, then kind of review some of the smaller places like WB. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, what's the other one? Well, we got to do Ubisoft because that's still a big one. Yeah. 
Uh, and then, of course, there's a bunch of other press conferences. Uh, kind of funny is even doing a press conference, yeah. or they're doing a some like a showcase together. or something like that. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, so we'll re uh, we'll we'll get into that a little li- later. And my props show. for uh, you know you and 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 uh, Gilberto. Yes, uh, I was gonna say uh, <laughs> last week uh, we had Gilberto uh, help help me to fill in the cast so that nothing stops, stops the, the signal. signal. <laughs> That's right. That's and, right. Uh, thank you so Reaver. much, uh, Chaos, for hanging out. Uh, will not be the last time. We just got to figure out the signal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're trying to tune in the signal for next week. Yes. Because you will be... I will be on vacation. You will be on vacation. You'll be yes. out in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. That's right. You Puerto know, Rico. Going out the there. Caribbean. <laughs> uh, a location wedding for my father. There you go. And uh, so, yeah, we'll be out there for a while. I'm going to miss uh, you guys next week. But nothing stops the signal. Nothing stops the signal. That's and, right. And uh, so, we'll yes, we'll have... Out. Huh? We'll figure something out. Yeah, I mean, you just came from Q. It's Jerry Rick. Yeah, you, you, yeah, exactly. You I mean, yeah. Hey, if this has to become a one-man show, <laughs> so I will still it. deliver something <laughs> <laughs> because nothing stops the signal. I'll play. I'll dub myself uh, to position. You know, I'll, I'll play your part. I'll play my part, oh, and nice. I'll be double teaming myself. You know, the wrong double podcast. teaming yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. That's sir. very weird. <laughs> yeah. That's just very, very weird. odd. I'm gonna need you to just be gentle on yourself. That's all. <laughs> all right, sir. Let's start with what we have been up to, sir. Yeah. You were you were mentioning beautiful Cuba. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't want to uh, leave behind the other two places uh, where I visit. But I've, I've been in I just Mexico. I to Mexico. I mean, pff, that, you know. <laughs> It's not. I don't. Cuba, know, but it's yeah, like yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mexico, uh, Cozumel, Cozumel is great. Cozumel is beautiful. The only thing is, because, like I've I, I've been there, you know, uh, already, and uh, a lot of the uh, the, the attractions, like I don't know, they don't really call my attention that much. It's like I went the first time and saw, you know, the Mayan ruins, but once you see all one of them, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to be the uncultured person saying, <laughs> once you see one of them, you see them all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to say that, and of course, I, there's just thousands broken of things rocks, to guys. do. I mean, that's all it is. <laughs> but uh, but it usually doesn't stop that long for you to like get your bearings and, and figure something out, unless you plan ahead, unless you have like an excursion done. And yeah. we we did that already. So mm-hmm. th- this time we didn't even de- de- embark. It, it was it was fine. And then of course uh, we stopped by Key West. Mm-hmm. And Key West is beautiful, bro. Key West is beautiful. Yeah. Actually, it's a I, party town, but it's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a what? A party, a party town. A party town. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, I guess yeah, I guess you could say that. I went very early, you know, in uh in the morning. <laughs> They're and not it, partying yet. <laughs> they were not partying yet. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, it's it, it's gorgeous. The the buildings, uh, the, the you know, the historic buildings, the museums. I like this is a place that I want to drive down. You know, that I want to drive down and spend like a couple of days. You know, oh, okay. Yeah. What they saying? So, but I didn't like I didn't went to any of the beaches or anything like that. I was just mainly like going around looking at the what do you call them, the boats, the they got the, the marinas, the marina, yeah, yeah the, okay. the marina area. Dude, gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, like I was talking about, I uh, I went to Cuba, which was like an eye opening experience. It was um, this like I fell in love because it is it's a beautiful country. It reminds me of uh, Puerto Rico, of mm-hmm. course, uh, my you know place where I'm from. The like you see the the like the buildings of our, you know, for example, because they were what are the two guys uh, telling us they were built really fast around the time frame that it was done, and it was built very cheaply, so they were using like sand to mix oh, up okay. with like yeah. the, with the mortar, the cement, and 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 stuff like that. To make those, you know, those buildings. So at first they were beautiful where they, you know, where they were done. But like time hasn't been kind to them. Like right now you can see them very dilapidated. They're very breaking down. Like you don't see a lot of places that are even like painted mm-hmm. on you know, or anything like that. But even that has like sort of a, a story of a yeah. Mm-hmm. It, there there's a there's a be- there's a sad beauty on it. Uh, that you can appreciate it also because like the streets and the, uh, at least in the area where I was, which again it was Havana, yeah. it was super clean. Mm. Like everywhere, you know, you will, yeah, it'll look dilapidated and stuff like that, but it didn't look. Uh, I guess it was run down, but it didn't look dirty. Dirty, yeah, you yeah. know, not 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 at, not at all. You know, those streets were, you know, very nice. Uh, you know, very clean. The people are amazing, bro. Like. I will. I, it, it, maybe this was, of course, uh, as a Spanish uh, uh, a speaker, it was easier for me to just like to just, just get in with yeah. someone, mm-hmm. you know, with someone from there. And I will stay. And my wife even will tell me 
Like, uh, you know, okay, honey, you, we gotta, <laughs> we're running out of time. Let's go see. And I'll be talking to like <laughs> just someone there because he was so, you know, so so uh, attentive and, and stuff. And the, so the so the areas, uh, you know, where, uh, where I went were 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 beautiful. Like I said, uh, the Hemingway, um, the writer, what's his name? Um, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like his his house uh, mm-hmm. that you know that he had the, that he had there when he was married like four times and of course I'm gonna sound like super uncultured but that's okay because <laughs> so is half of our <laughs> audience <laughs> not me too no offense wow <laughs> <laughs> no 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 but what what I try to say that it got me to to uh, it, like it got me inspired to have an appreciation first off of what we have here because. My God, dude, we haven't we, we haven't made we don't know it. Oh, I'm yeah. talking about yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we're we talking do. about the areas where like toilet paper, even like those those, those details, it's almost gold. Like you got like you went to a public bathroom, there will be somebody collecting at least something, not demanding or anything like that, just mm-hmm. you know collecting something because that's what they will use to pay for to it. pay mm-hmm. you know to to buy um, you know more more supplies the. the we passed by a supermarket, and the supermarket was almost empty because uh, there's barely any, you know, like ma- major things to buy. You know, food. It it is it is like it is not easy. It's super expensive. You know, as a matter of fact, that's one thing that surprised me. The island, for being what it is, is is it's it's very expensive. Like the dollar is almost like uh, with uh, against against the, the the currency, it was like almost a hundred percent. You know, so you know, one to one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. With the exception that to ex- to make the exchange, there is a tariff that gets collected that is almost thirteen percent. So I didn't have enough cash, you know, with me, and I didn't think oh, or I thought I had enough. Let's what let's put it this way. I thought I had in, you know enough for what I wanted to spend. Uh, again, not realizing that things were kind of pricey. Mm-hmm. I I went with uh, sixty dollars, which at some point became fifty dollars. Which by the time that I traded it, it was forty. It was forty. It <laughs> yeah, was forty-two. Yeah. It was wow. forty-three. You know, uh, and they even had like three-dollar bills. Were are kind of bit kind of weird to see <laughs> the three-dollar bill. I wanted to keep one, but I I, I still I I I, I gave it for something. So the so the conversion rate you know was not only great, but you get taxed like that. When you go to buy, like everything is kind of expensive because it is, especially for you know for for tourists. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't bring almost anything to anybody. I like one. I I, I bought three cigars, <laughs> three Cuban cigars. <laughs> I brought uh, one um, a thing of coffee. <laughs> oh okay. Ooh, how's the coffee? The coffee was great. Though. The coffee was fantastic, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. my god! And I, I'm not a super fan of drinking like black coffee. I always put like milk, or something like that. No, I wouldn't want to mess anything nice. up there. Nice. That's what I'm that talking about. That's what I said. I said when you have really good coffee, you dude, can drink it black and it'll be okay. Phenomenal. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a different Absolutely. it's a different taste. Yes, it's a whole different taste. You know. Sorry, cafe pilong. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, sorry. This, you know, things yeah. Are, this is, yeah, this is. I mean, not that, and not that they're bad. It's just that we consume it all the time. We're used to it. We're mm. accustomed to it. We have something like that different. Like that, dude, strong. It'll raise the dead. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> it was, uh, it, it was a sight to behold. Nice. And another thing that was surprising was the balance of, well, how would you call that? The balance of like what people make. Mm-hmm. Oh, in their income versus yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they're, the balance of uh, income depending on their jobs, uh, it's like completely like <laughs> thrown Oxford. aside. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah? it's oh, wow. like literally the tour guy that that was uh, you know that 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 was with us, mm-hmm. he says he makes more money doing that than a doctor will make there. Wow, you know, and that was that was impressive because he has he has a degree. He he was a psychologist, you know, and he said he was just doing tours. Because he was making, he, he, make make yeah. he makes a lot of more money. The the main uh, thing right now with the island is tourism. Tourism, yeah. You know, since the door is open, yeah. Yeah, no gates y- or whatever. yeah, yeah. It, it is like like I think I, I I expressed it before, but for for the way that they live in this, you know, this enclosed society where they, it's not easy to know what's happening outside. You know, yeah. it's not like it's probably not as tight as say China or South Korea or South Korea yeah. or something like that. But it is it's, it's along the lines. Yeah. It is along the lines. Yeah, yeah, because it, it is a it, unfortunately still a communist country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
like they would not know ab about I mean the general populace obviously the, the people that know but the general populace wouldn't know a lot of what's happening with the things with Venezuela for example yeah. because they're allies mm. so they wouldn't see they're the filtered. conflict it's, it's filtered it's to only filtered. see what you got to see yeah, yeah. The, the, the buildings you see the images of even the Fidel and stuff like that with like beautiful murals you know, uh, kind of almost like, and 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 um, when you go on the street and you see it on the street zones. yeah yeah yeah, well like the streets or turn here or whatever. Yeah, no, the big ones for advertisement. Oh, billboards. The billboards. Yeah, thank yeah. you. The billboards. You will see like messages from you know from from Fidel. Oh, it's, it's propaganda. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. A lot of propaganda. Uh, the the building. The there's a building. I took a picture of a building that has like a big image of Che Guevara right there. And on, right on the other side, there was another building with, I don't know the name of the other dude, <laughs> but it was like surreal. Like, yeah. I can't believe I'm here. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, for all that, you see that the, 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 the warmest smiles and the most welcoming, you know, hands and everybody is, it's like, a, it's like they, know how to have that the fun part has not been taken, taken away. from away yeah. you know they still you know, don't that have spirit, a good time exactly yeah. and seeing too seeing the the cars on the streets all of them 1950s chevys like running and looking beautiful like new and they were all taxis for some reason they were all taxis look at them uh most of them uh, looking them on the run on the street is like okay. I literally I went back in time. I fell into a hole, and this is like this is this is back in time. This is yeah. This is what <laughs> happens when you don't get cars coming in. Yeah. <laughs> there's no importing. Of oh cars. yeah, there's yeah. no importing of anything, anything that yeah. is made uh, that uh, that is uh, made on the in the U.S. Like the brands of cars, some of the cars that I see are brands that I had never heard in my life, and uh, and I saw a box for a TV, and I was like, wow, a TV, okay, and it was one of them. Like CRT, CRT? TV oh, yeah. types, or at least it was like you know the big ones that, you know I think I was surprised one store that that I went to see had a like a like a flat panel monitor like a little monitor oh and, okay. you know that that's what and that's probably because it was made on because it's made in like uh, somewhere else yeah yeah Not Asia or something like that you know nothing from the United States nothing from the United States uh, I was surprised that they actually let you buy up to a hundred I mean you could buy. Like almost whatever amount of Cuban cigars that you want, you know, they want to take Avanos, whatever. It's just that up to a hundred, they don't, you don't have to pay anything. Mm -hmm. Hundred and one for now, you're paying some sort some of sort like, of tariff or tax yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with uh, a little of uh, like Cuban rum, Cuban for rum? example, or something like that. God, that must like be great. one per person, <laughs> and it had to be up to a certain amount. You okay. know, it's it it it's stuff like that. Yeah, bro, I can't say that. Like, you will love it. I, <laughs> I, I know I, that you will absolutely... I've been dying to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Annie, uh, Annie went with someone, and she was... And then uh, Tina uh -huh. and Joy also went. Yeah. And I think Brett actually went with them as well. Mm. And she has a... Like a picture book that she put together uh -huh. um, for it, and has has a bunch of uh, images, beautiful images. Her father went, who was a photographer. Yeah, uh, and he took these beautiful images, dude. It's a gorgeous book. Yeah. But anyway, and, and he did it when it was started raining because it would rain, and it was so weird when it rained because it rained and, and people would clear the streets. But it was it was just different. It was like torrential. But he was oh, taking, right. he was still out there taking pictures, and it's just the images he got her. And I saw, I was like, yes, I definitely want to go yeah, to Cuba. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially you know, I'm saying uh, now that. Obviously, now that the uh, it's easier to get in with tourism and yeah. stuff like that is, is is starting new, which I'm happy for them, you know, because that's that's another source of uh, income which they didn't have until very recently. Yeah. So um, no, I'm dying to go. I'm dying to go. Yeah, that's yeah. that's put that's definitely put it on the list right there along with Japan uh, the, uh, next year. Oh, Japan is first. Because, <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, happening. Yeah. And especially with uh, today's and fire you know political environment or that <laughs> whatever however you want to say yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it you got you kind of want to hope that that the relations are still good enough to where you can you can travel you, yeah. it, it's good that it continues you yeah, know? yeah exactly that it continues. exactly so that was that was a, a little bit of that a handful of that <laughs> oh dude they were telling me like if, that the houses have you know that the, the the water the water the cisterns the, the, the those are where they collect water because water because electricity goes, you know, they take uh, the power out at certain times, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. So, and obviously, 
electricity is needed to pump water. Mm-hmm. So what they do to have water for like most of the day, if not the, the whole day, is they have this uh, system this that collects water. It. Yeah, this mm-hmm. system that collects them on, on, on top. They call cisterns, or I don't remember the, the name in, in Spanish, but they they collect water mm-hmm. and then they use it throughout the day. I said that the guy was telling me there's a few of them are not actually real. Oh, what they actually they are is satellite dishes that are close <laughs> on that <laughs> thing <laughs> to tell you about Cuban ingenuity. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they want to watch HBO, <laughs> or Game of Thrones, or something like that. Which yes, even the tour guy, even the tour guy was watching. Uh, was was talking about that. They will have they you know, they will have a, a satellite. Of course, that's is prohibited, and mm-hmm. uh, if you get caught with it. Like you know, he was telling you don't get jail time, but you could get fined. You yeah. Know? So, uh, but they will still do it. You know, like people in the yeah. will still As do anybody, it. Yeah. As anybody, they will still. Uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like we freaking like you know people pirate shit yeah, over here saying, and do yeah, that. Was, yeah. So so they will form like a little network uh, among themselves. So okay, uh, the the satellite is here now. This person has a cable. This other person has another cable. This person has another. Nice. And th- like like a, like a small area. <laughs> yeah. We'll have connection to see channels like that, and uh, dude, it was just it was just mad cool. I gotta, I gotta say, I really, really admire and love, uh, you know, that experience. Uh, so aside from that, like I mentioned, I, I didn't play anything honestly. I'm mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't have. I no, don't you're have on any vacation. Yeah. Last time I the the little bit I play of Mortal Kombat is still like I still haven't played enough to. To, to to say I mean I like what I saw but it's Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. you know you yeah. knew if you, you like know what it, or it not. is yeah 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 I did watch Game of Thrones <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yes and, and and we might as well like uh, so for the way you can guys, take it well, you, let, yeah well you can take it oh that's right we don't want to spoil for anybody no no I'm, I'm about to say guys it's gonna be spoiled okay it's it's gonna be spoiled. Right. I mean people who wanted to see it have already seen it yeah that's right? true so, that, I mean, you know, that's and true. I think I've I think I've even seen it already being discussed on the group so me, yeah, okay yeah. Right. let me tell you I did I did try to watch it what I was at sea. <laughs> oh really it okay. was not easy I watched all <laughs> uh, I, I think I watched it till the part where Tyrion is looking through the rubble. And, oh yes, and yes, yes. Finds uh, looking for uh, looking for them. Finds Jamie and, and uh, Jamie and Thursday. And it was a beautiful moment, but it kept getting ruined because it kept freaking cutting because the connection on yeah, this on particular this. ship sucked. <laughs> so I was like, okay, no, we Did can't do this. they have T-Mobile? Because if they have T-Mobile, that's what <laughs> <laughs> no. I was so so I, so I went to two different ships. Uh-huh. The, the first one was very high tech. Okay. Or not very high tech. They were test. This was this was they, they were testing some some high tech stuff. Okay. Like with this little like medallion thing that was. Uh, yes, I saw you post a picture. I, I, it yeah, will keep track cool. of wherever you will be at the ship, cool. so your wife could know where you at if you wanted to have it activated. Of course, you could deactivate it, but uh, you wouldn't <laughs> want to because you want to know also if you place an order, you want to know where. The, where the client is, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, the, uh, the waiter will come in to wherever you are, and you know get, you will place your order on your phone, and then a few hours later, no, <laughs> uh, a, a few. The poor guys, like it was going to take stay a little still. bit longer. <laughs> it was, I know, right? It was, it will take longer than, of course, you looked at if you went and, and picked it up yourself. But sometimes if you're relaxing, and you don't care, you know, you place the order that will come in and bring your drink. That was awesome. Uh, and it, with that the same medallion thing, you pay. Uh, this was Princess, uh, okay. Princess Cruise Lines, by the way. I went on the Carib- Caribbean Princess was, mm. was the ship. And, and also the same technology was used for them to greet you. Like, you will get close to the counter to ask for a cup of coffee, and they will greet you by name. And you were like, what the fuck? Who do I know? <laughs> do we know each other? Like, Am I wearing uh, a name? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Am I wearing the name? And then I realized, oh, yes, I freaking am. It's just, <laughs> I freaking am. It's just that this it, it's an RFID thing that is immediately <laughs> telling you who I am. It, it even tells who I am to the door of the of the cabin. Like, as soon as you start approaching the door, that door unlocks, it shows your picture, says, welcome, David, you know, back. And you're like, oh, shit, okay. Nice. <laughs> you know, it's right. That's and, awesome. And, uh, and I'm sure that it has some, uh, some of the uh, features. Uh, hopefully not nefarious, but you kind of know, <laughs> you know, if they know exactly when what you're doing. When it's in the, the trade time, of information, my friend, let me put it, it, yes. it can be a little nefarious. I'm sure. I'm sure there's some things in the background. Yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, what Cyberpunk is yes. based on. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You the can, trade of information. Yes. You can play uh, casino games anywhere, almost anywhere. Nice. <laughs> it, it was. 
it was kind of, it was kind of creepy and cool. But then going from that <laughs> sh- from that ship to the Royal uh, Majesty of the Seas, which was actually the ship where I proposed to my wife originally three years ago. Nice. It was. Uh, Did you visit the spot? I visited the spot. Yeah, nice. I was thinking of recreating the, the whole really? thing, but I was oh, like, oh, to do three years later. Yeah, the, the three <laughs> nice. years later. Yeah, oh, but uh, but I was like, no, nah, because you know, I, I don't. I will have to preface with no, no, guys, it's, this is just, <laughs> <laughs> this is fake. This is not. This re- is just. This yeah. already happened. This is a dramatization. No, but, man, you use it, bro. I know. They right? go, oh, look at look at you, a complimentary bottle of champagne. Oh, I know, right? I was like, Damn oh, me. snap. See, yeah. that's why. <laughs> That's why like, you you need to be my wingman, man, because that, that's how that's how I get them. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, especially when uh, you know the second time I start realizing, like, yeah, we have been in all cruises already to know that this ship is not that great. Oh, so yeah. it, I mean, it's, it's it's small. It this is the one where you take the where you don't care about the ship experience. I mean, it's not that it's bad. Don't yeah, get yeah. me wrong. It's but just, it's not about the ship. Yeah. It's not about the yeah. ship. You know, this one will be about the destination. This was the one that took me to Cuba. Cuba, yeah. But yeah, compared from you know, compared to the other one, I was like, yeah, man, I'm kind of loyal to Royal, and this one is not really giving us <laughs> <laughs> the goods. Anyway, we were talking about Game of Game of Thrones and yes. how the internet sucked on that ship, and how not very <laughs> how disappointing. Disappointing we were. is. A gross understatement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the more I have oh, thought, first man. off, sir, was there anything else that you have done? I don't want to interrupt. In no, no, no. Time. I want, like, this okay. is where right. I handed it, I hand it to you. Thank you, sir. take over because I have some things to say. Oh, about the show. Okay. I'm pretty okay. sure you So do for the record, more. guys, for the next few minutes I, I don't know i'll try to mark it on my <laughs> on the time code if you if you don't if want to care if like you, you care don't want to be ruined yeah for the record but it, you already know it's terrible the yeah <laughs> the internet knows so everybody yeah, knows, right i i i, I, <laughs> I gotta mm-hmm. stand out in, in front of this and say uh. i am not upset with decisions characters made for mm-hmm. instance daenerys going crazy uh, which I mentioned last week because uh, um, Chaos and I were talking about it. Daenerys going crazy was didn't bother me mm-hmm. in the sense that I didn't want her to go that way. It bothered me because it felt unearned. It felt right. like w- we didn't get enough for us to say, oh, I can see why she's turned into a genocidal maniac. Yeah. You know, because nothing. Yes, I get it. She has done some stuff before, but there have been plenty of leaders and plenty of others who have done the same thing. And I was like, I get that. That doesn't make them genocidal maniacs. Okay. So <laughs> the one who you, the, the person you have to think about when this happens to go is, okay, so Daenerys is now worse than Ramsey. That is what you're saying. Yes, okay. It's so, basically, I mean, in, in a flip of a switch, <laughs> yeah. she is now worse. She is now worse than that. Okay. Um, I still say that Ramsey is worse than Cersei. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, then Cersei has literally done genocide by ki- destroying oh, yeah, the temple that, and all that. Right, yeah, so. Absolutely. You know, what, yeah. you know what her term remind, reminded me of? Mm. Anakin Skywalker's turn on episode three. three. Yes. yes. Um, where Suddenly, I'm just killing a bunch of little kids. I'm Why just, not? Yeah, just, exactly. Because this is part of what... No, that's the... Wait, completely wait, yeah, like, Completely whoa. like... So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> flip the switch and now I'm evil. The, the other part with, obviously, the very last episode is... What happened to John? Where he ended up? What happened to Sansa? What happened to Arya? Their final moments were great, and I was okay. I was all right with how with what they where they ended up. Right? Really? But <laughs> the method of how he got there, <laughs> okay, <laughs> left a serious amount to to be desired here. Um, the 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 jumps in time. Um, he, you know, we all know he kills Daenerys and the immediate thing I think is, oh, he's going to fight it out with Grey Worm. You know what I mean? Because Grey Worm and him have been eyeballing each other for the last couple of episodes (laughs) and they're not been friendly eyeballing. No, no, we don't get to see that. Uh, he gets arrested and captured, which by the way, she never took prisoners. You know what I mean? (laughs) No, we don't take prisoners, but no, we'll take Tyrion. No, we'll take, uh, uh, they took Tyrion. Yeah. Yeah, You know, uh, we'll take Jon. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> and here? And evidently for a while, because Tyrion was for months. in jail for months. Yeah, well, I don't know. Tyrion, or, you know, time. Well, John was in there for months. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, dude. I just, you know what? I've, I feel, I'm exhausted <laughs> even feeling for this show. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's just like, I, 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 and, and I get it, guys. It's just a show. And I'm not saying it. It's just that when you really, really look at it, and you, you I own the mm. first seven seasons. 
of this show in a box set. And I look forward to owning the eighth season to say, hey, I've closed it out. I've, cl- I've closed out the, the, the story. You yeah. know what I mean? I have no desire to even get it. I have no <laughs> desire to even go back and watch any of them because I'm like, I know that all this wonderfully uh, written yeah. and acted and, and drawn drama is going to end stupidly. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like none of this is going to matter. They're going to figure out who needs to be king and what to do with everything in a matter of minutes. Yes. Okay. In a meeting, they, they literally could have just been sitting around having tea in this meeting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is And this is how we're going to figure everything out. And yes, the prisoner, who is the prisoner, mm-hmm. is going to be the one who figures this out for us because none of else can do it. Yeah. The other heads of the of the, the major Britain houses that are left on the major houses of it. Cannot no, figure they can't figure it out, out. But we'll give it to the to 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 Tyrion. We'll give it the to prisoner, the prisoner who yeah. wants who doesn't want to become the hand, but he's going to be the hand anyway. Yes. Because he needs to make up for shit. Well, it, because he was always the hand of someone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he yes, that's that's true, what yeah. will play. Yeah, I I. I I agree with you on this one 100%. I I feel like the idea the idea of Daenerys turning the idea to me was awesome. Was awesome. Because it's one, one of those yeah. like okay, this is of course it's very Game of Thrones, but at the same time it, it it's almost like how 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 you describe it? Like you expect the worst but not like this. Not this. Not 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 the not not Daenerys that I mean people name their children, daughters, after this character, after this genocidal maniac, you know, as, as their own fault. I got no sympathy for them. <laughs> like, they, like, you could just choose they Mary. They were guys. all <laughs> about like, oh, I'm the mother of dragons and this and that, and woman empowerment, and the mother of dragons and the mother of dragons was a freaking like. At the end, she becomes crazy. So, the idea of it, uh, like, I was, I was down with it. The execution of it was like poor, tragic. Poor. It was tr- it was bad. It was yeah. terrible bad. So 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 that part that you know that 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 part that the 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 idea didn't upset me, but the execution did. Mm-hmm. The whole thing with okay, the the matter with Daenerys got resolved pretty early in the in, in the, the final episode, episode. Yes, in the final episode, like and and there's no fallout. There's no fallout. There's no fallout. Of it fallout. At all. No, and we jump forward. To, I'm like, there has to be fallout. It has to be somebody has to be. Some, something. Yeah, somebody say nope. something. Not even the, the only, dragon care. The, no. Not even the yeah, fucking he, dragon he, care. He went and shot the the Iron Throne because oh, that's that's this the is reason. What her, her, yeah, her, I have her, the, I have the killer right in front of me, which is Jon Snow. Correct, because I mean, you what? know, I mean, she did have a sword in her and or a knife or something, uh-huh. and he saw a, a chair made of knives. So also, maybe, maybe he got confused. Man, you know, it's it was, possible. Could have, it yeah. was probably you know, the chair. She Jordan. died when she was trying to sit on it. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Freaking chair. Yeah, chair. <laughs> 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 and, yeah. and John was like, "Yeah, fucking chair, I man. Know, yeah. I, I just came I'm here and you. saw that. It's like." So tragic, man. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> where's Grain Worm? Yeah. <laughs> I need to well, talk to him. Let's, let's go on a ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can it's... you take this with you? It's like, you know, I don't yeah, want Grain Worm to yeah, see yeah. it. Exactly. I might have yeah. said it a little bit. You know, <laughs> I'll talk to him. All right. God, all right. Bye. Thank you, Drogon. You're, so, you're a good dragon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking Drogon, which we never know what happens, you know, to him after that. Just like you mentioned, the whole idea of picking up. Okay, well, Daenerys is dead. You know, she never got even to sit on the higher drone. Not even that. She uh, got to touch it, though. She got to touch it. That's as far as yep. it, uh, that's as far as uh, as it'll go. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, the aspects of what they're trying to say are fascinating. Yeah. The fact that yes, the if you really look at the entire series, mm-hmm. the push, the, the 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 desire to be the one on the Iron Throne is literally poisonous, right? Yeah. It, it and I get that. But the way you're showing this is just so. I mean, there's shorthand, and then there's just fuck it. Let's just, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, that's exactly what this was. I'm like, this is. There was uh, a good three episodes here, just compressed into one. There and was edited at poorly. least yeah. at least another season. I mean, if you wanted to take this season, uh-huh. you could have taken this season and made two seasons out of this. Dude, uh, hey, what a crazy cliffhanger! Daenerys getting killed and leaving it there. And even at that, and Dude. then we get yeah. 
Then everybody would have, everybody would have, you know, flipped the, the shit, you know, like, okay, what happens that? But no, we don't no. get that. This is the final episode. We really need to wrap this up really fast. Yes. So, so let's jump a let's, few months ahead. Let's be jumping. We're going to get everybody together. Yep. We'll get some people, people haven't seen forever. We're going to make fun of uh, democracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real quick. Real we'll quick. Just, the people should decide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lol. I'm like, wow. Lol. Stupid <laughs> like, Samuel. I know. What do you know? What are you house stupid. Tarly. House a Tarly. stupid house. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. It's that was the whole scene. Dude, that whole scene was absolutely horrible. It was, it was Just terrible, yeah. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. So Grey Worm tells him to shut up. Nah. <laughs> he doesn't shut up. He keeps talking. Suddenly everybody's like, oh no, the worst part, dude. <laughs> Who has the best? Who has the best story? Who has a better story <laughs> than Brand? And I'm like, everyone, what are you talking about? Yes. Grey Worm has a better story than Brand. You know, yes. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, oh my like, God. Oh my yes. God. Yes. The, bo- the bro, what is it? Brand the Broken. Brand, Brand the Broken. You I'm know, like, which, stop I guess it's the most boring character of the books and the series. He it's, was literally not in a season. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, pre- I'm, pr- I'm almost positive that Dude. there was all of season six he wasn't in. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was either six or five. One of the Dude. two. He was just not in the series. It was, uh, let's put the most boring, lame character. Actually, that part, very, I apologize. I, no pun was intended. But uh, he's a boring character. Mm-hmm. He is he a is. boring he's character. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, and because he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Shit. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. anything. Exactly, he's not earned. He, as a matter of fact, when he's at the very end, he's the king. He's still not doing anything. He's still not doing Tyrion anything. Tyrion is doing everything with everybody else. Fucking like, Sansa, it's like you know what? You're my brother, but everything. But you know what? The North is the North, so fuck it. We're gonna stay in the Don't even get started on that. Why is it so? Why? <laughs> why is it somebody else in the other realms go? Well, wait a minute. If they're going to be separate, then we want to be separate too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, How I mean, come then nobody why, is why, like yeah. that? No, nobody disagree with that. Not no. even Yara, uh, who... Oh, the... Oh, the, who sti- who, oh, the who, Isles. Oh, the, yeah, who else? Who hates the North, yes. okay? And her brother died there. So yeah. probably... Ha- and, and, of course, she still doesn't like John, who killed the queen that she says, that was a, I was our queen, who we... Yes. Whatever. But Cersei. no, they make a decision. Like, sure, I'll vote for that. Yeah. Bran, okay. Yeah, he's king. Yeah. I'm that's... like, what is this stupidity, <laughs> man? I'm like, uh, it is completely, ra- it's completely random. Like, fucking put Sansa. I don't care. Just put so much. I was else. expecting Sansa. Honestly, I was expecting yeah, me too. Sansa, yeah. Me too. You know, because it couldn't have been Arya. You know? he, no, she didn't want it. No, I know, I know, but it would have because it would have been as stupid <laughs> as yeah. a, as the decision. Yeah. So, so Bran becomes king. Get back, get, Sansa becomes, king. becomes queen of the north. Of the north. Of the yes. north. So now ki- he's the king of the six kingdoms instead of the seven. Yes. Uh, Arya's on her way to become. I don't know. I don't know. Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's going. What's west of Westeros? <laughs> Westeros. Ros. <laughs> 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 West Westeros. West Westeros, it's yes. Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> it's so horrible, dude. It is really bad. I mean, when you really sit and think about it, it's like, my God. Like, that's it. Hey, that's anything. West anything. Westeros. Yeah. So, oh, and then, God. of course, John goes to the north, the real north. Uh, yeah. and he, Which he was sent to the wall. He was sent to the wall. Which, like, they something don't else doesn't really make sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, the king, the... <laughs> The king of the six uh, the six kingdoms uh, sends uh, to to appease Grey Worm. Yeah, we're gonna send him to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Little does Grey Worm know that the wall is actually part of the North now, which is succeeded from those six kingdoms. So they have like zero have jurisdiction, no jurisdiction over there now. Yeah. So what well, does this mean? You know? is like, all right, I, I'm here. I'm gonna go hurt. The, I'm gonna head north. Yeah. Well, I want to find me another Igrit. He find, he, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got I got snow with me. I got my boy Tormund. Yeah. I got ghosts. You know, <laughs> he has a happy end. As far as I'm concerned, I'm like you know what, he's fine. He never wanted to be king. No. And frankly, he I'm sure he doesn't. Want to yeah. deal with the politics he's like you know what no i'm no. gonna be i'm gonna be i'm gonna be that's why i'm i'm okay like i say i'm okay with where everyone ended at it's just the stupid stupid <laughs> router how we got there i don't know it's like the stark like had it at the back like for, yes they were they were the the most fucked up house i mean people like 
really fucked up with that family. I get it. Yeah, I get that too. But at the end, I they inherit like the the entire world. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, it, we, yeah, because uh, wherever Arya is going, she's like, I'm gonna claim this one. Yeah. So you guys probably. have the north. You have the other six kingdoms. I'm gonna go over here. Whatever is west of Westeros. Yeah. I'm gonna stick a flag and something over there. That'll be that'll be Stark. That'll be Stark land. <laughs> there you go. I don't <laughs> know what that's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It is. Yeah, it was yeah, it was all it was it was, really it was very disappointing. It's Extreme, like, yeah, yeah, and, and I get it. The show, the expectation of the show, would never have lived up to the expectation we had. Mm. And I'm not saying that. And again, I'm not saying that where they ended up, and 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 there are a lot of aspects aspects of the show that I thought were well done. Mm -hmm. The fact that he took out Daenerys, I'm like, I'm okay with that. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just. It's just everything else. The filler that we were so used to getting when it came to Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones spent a lot of times in little conversations and little backdoor or back alley deals and all yeah. this stuff that was going on. Oh, we got so that. Be the, 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 book, the book is that. The book is like, and then he went to the bathroom. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. It, it will give you like details yeah. of everything. And uh, and yeah, and, and on the show you will you you will see that which for a show is you know kind of impressive. And, yeah, granted, some people pass it off as, as okay, this is filler, like let, let you know here. No, there. not always. It's for me. It's always been the small moments, uh -huh. the little the little um the little facial expression, the little look that somebody gives. Mm -hmm. Those has always been the reason. I love the best best of the series for me has always been the conversation between uh, uh Varys and uh, Littlefinger. Those yeah. were my favorite yeah. moments. My absolute Little favorite moments. Little Finger was moments. an awesome character yes. also. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking love the way he died. Um, yeah, yeah you know, I agree. Yeah. Um, he got it ago, coming. So. He had it coming. <laughs> and, and it was, yeah. It, again, looking at it, being like, okay, so maybe this is not going by the direction of the books. There's, there's no books anymore on this part of the series. But maybe it, it, it they, they kind of know. Mm -hmm. They, they kind of know. I, this was sweet justice. This, yeah. this was good. Same thing with you know with Ramsey and his comeuppance and, yes. and and all that, but like this is the this is the final episode, the final this season, was the final guys, season, the Jesus. final episode. This is the one where you where, where you close up all those amazing loops. You know, they the, have the thing with the Night King, which is like that. That was the first warning sign of okay, this is going to stupid land super fast. I was you like, know, oh my god, and, this is, oh, I still enjoy that episode, but yes, it went. Way too fast, and then it spent it's a way, too, way too fast on certain things, and spent too much time on yeah, other yeah. things that were in, 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 in significant. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, what about uh, so so Jon Snow did the, the or or Aegon uh, Targaryen the second yeah. or whatever is second like, of his name. Okay, so so, nobody so cares. That, the whole thing with the Targaryen like that doesn't matter. Like that, no. the, the prophecy of. Uh, the wow. prince that was promised and the and I can't remember what the other prophecy yeah, was. Yeah, all that crap is like, all that who doesn't cares? No, that doesn't yeah. matter. It's like, you know, it's like... You, you're going to close blue eyes, red eyes, and green eyes. And green and, eyes. And the end is like, okay, so what does that I mean? close my eyes. Yeah, was, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, dude. It was... Anyway. That was... That was, <laughs> I, that was uh, it reminded me of Battlestar Galactica. And how an amazing show has such a like pitiful ending. And, it, and then granted, the ending was not as bad as this. But and I have told you the ending yes. of Battlestar Galactica, yeah, yeah. and it's ridiculous, right? Yes, it is stupid, ridiculous, and it's still not as bad as what we ended up getting <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, I agree. It is. It is disappointing. So yeah, we watched that. Um, I've actually played a couple games. So I'm <laughs> gonna go into a, a little bit here. Um, first of all, and let me tell you, when I say ah. a couple, couple games, two games really. Ah. <laughs> um, Hence the couple, I know, I know. Um, but they could not be further from each other. <laughs> like, they, they are two complete polar opposite games. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, a data simulation uh -huh. and uh, StarCraft. <laughs> there you go. No, uh, that's not, that's that's too, not that, that's, that can be close. Yeah, that can be close. close uh, yeah. Let me see. So, Tetris and uh, third. <laughs> Versus, <laughs> oh, shit. So, I could be farther from one to the other. <laughs> tell so me. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> uh, the first one I played, which I'm still playing and, and, and I'm enjoying it, is Dance Dance Revolution. Modern Warfare uh, remake, the remaster. What? Yeah. You <laughs> Call, of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare remastered Dude. the campaign. What? I've never played this campaign ever. Really? And I'm playing it now. How? And, when? Oh, because it's free. 
right? it was either free or I got it on sale. One of the two. Free or you sale. Did, you yeah. did not get it. You did not the, pay money for it, no the, matter how cheap well, it was. Well, I, I could have because I was, I was interested when they first – Announced uh-huh. that they were going to release that with um, which one was it? Infinite Warfare or one of the ones that came out. Oh yeah, one of the. I think yeah. it, it might have been Infinite Warfare. Yeah, so yeah. we were supposed to come out with it, and I think they weren't impressed. With, like people weren't too impressed with Infinite Warfare yeah. when they saw the footage and said, yeah. "Oh, we're doing a remaster, and yeah. you can get it, but only if you get Infinite Warfare." <laughs> and before you know it, uh, that helped the sales, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then at that at that time, no, you can't buy it separate. And we, even we were going, "It'll be separate it'll eventually." Be separate yeah, point, you know. Yeah. Here it is separate. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, that's so I may have paid for it. It may have been free. I don't know. But the point is, <laughs> I pl- uh, started playing it, and uh, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's obviously a, a, it's fun. A, one of the one of the I think it's heralded as one of the best uh, Call of Duty campaigns. Yeah, um, I'll have to agree. Yeah, and it's enjoyable. Um, there's a lot. Of, obviously, you played it. There's a lot of different things you can do, which is cool. You have your sniper missions. You have your where you're actually the one who controls the the bombing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, this is, is that actually, the one that has no Russian? The mission, no Russian. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Okay. I haven't finished no. yet. Right. So, um, if you think if this if it just doesn't have the airport one, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, okay. So anyway, um, I'm I'm enjoying it, and um, not much to say in it. I mean, it's an older game. Well, I I I I got news for you. I might be jumping the uh the, a little bit on the news <laughs> a bit that that we have for later on the show, but uh, the next Call of Duty is Modern Warfare. <laughs> That's what it's called. That's what it's called. That's oh, so what it's a remake. Uh, who, we I don't think so. Okay. No, I don't think so. Because they already made. You're playing it. No, this is a remaster. <laughs> oh, that's a difference. <laughs> so yeah. it's a remake. I guess. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Because it's Call it's of Duty not... Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare. I don't know. Dude, oh, yeah, it's, yeah. We'll we'll check the news. Okay. <laughs> we'll check the news. Stay tuned for the news. Yes. For the useless news you can use. <laughs> Uh, so no, I'm enjoying it. Obviously, it it's a little dated. Um, the only little things that I can notice is very scripted, which I guess yeah. is normal. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, you're in some point, and you just kind of have to move your character to some point so you can trigger the next scene. All you know the, what I mean? It's like, all oh, the okay. soldiers are not moving. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like uh, the war is happening, but nobody's moving. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Do I'm, you guys want to move up? Because what the hell? You oh, know? And then, I, oh, I guess I have to move up. I gotta okay, move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> move to Waypoint Charlie. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so. I started playing that. I'm almost done. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm. It's been a while. We've played a good amount of hours. It's it's pretty good. The other game that I played that it it now is on the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm ah. playing on my Switch. It is called. It's actually called Gris, but it's spelled and a lot of people call it Grizz. It oh, is, Gris! It, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, you played that one? I, I, did, I actually bought it. It was a. I don't think it was on sale. Maybe it was the original price, sixteen ninety nine. It is right now. You know what? Thank you for reminding me. I oh, there to, it is. I yeah, need to yeah. grab that shit right now. <laughs> well, hold on. Okay. <laughs> is that a womanly positive? I need See, to. I know, but <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the. <laughs> this is a frou frou. <laughs> okay. Game. So this is something you would probably call. Hey, I'm loving the hey, hell out of it. Don't journey, get me wrong. So it's journey. This and is I love journey. honestly. This is very journey. Okay, I love so that. This is very journey. I love that. Okay. All yeah. Right, all right. Okay. So all right. I'm just. I'm just throwing it out there. Oh, I appreciate so, it. No, I appreciate know, it. it. I, I can appreciate Fru Fru games. I <laughs> don't have the same appreciation for Fru Fru movie. <laughs> so yes. Um, Greece. Yeah. I am enjoying it. It's very good. It's basically. It, I mean, it starts off. It's difficult to tell what's going on. <laughs> I, I will I mean? tell you, Greece. Is a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with the painful experience of her life. Her journey through sorrows is manifested in her dress, which grants new abilities yes, to indeed. better navigate her faded reality. So she, yeah, she. Wow, at the very that's, beginning, actually, that's a description right there. It bro. is, yeah. She, <laughs> at the beginning, she she uh, a ray, She's on the like this statue on the hand of uh-huh. the statue. Uh, she wakes up and the hand breaks apart and she falls and she's falling for a while and while this is happening the credits are kind of the the beginning credits are starting. Oh, nice. Um, and then you get into your and it's it's basically a like side scrolling platformer. Oh yeah. Um, it doesn't. Um, there I don't think there's a way of dying. So you, there's really it's just getting through it. There's a lot of puzzles, of course. Uh-huh. Um, and it's enjoyable. It's very it's. Absolutely a gorgeous looking game. Um, very, it's all hand drawn. Really, really, really Dude, nice. It looks beautiful. Yeah. This is one of those games that at its original price, the I wanted to get it. Music is also awesome as well. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, so uh, so that's what I was. Uh, that's the yeah, that's the one right there. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, there's not there's like that right, but you just saw there is like this huge bird which 
acts kind of like a boss fight, but you're not really fighting again because you don't really fight anything. Uh-huh. Uh, but it's actually it's pretty cool. I'm gonna take this opportunity where <laughs> he stopped talking because my <laughs> God, he wouldn't stop talking about Greece and stuff. I, I just interject and I just remember that I did watch a couple of movies. <laughs> <laughs> so before you go into your description of yours, let me just real quick mention that I saw The Upside. Oh. Have okay. you seen The Upside? No, I don't think I even know what that is. The Upside is uh, actually a movie with, hold on, I'll tell you right now. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I know what that is. It, it, it's actually a remake of. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah. Well, the, 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 the story is it has Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. It has uh, Brian Creston, and it has Nicole Kidman among you know on another cat, uh, you know the rest of the cast. And the whole thing with it is that uh, the character uh, played by Brian Creston, he's he's playing a uh, uh, paraplegic. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, person that, and and then Kevin Hart is playing this dude that just came out of uh, prison and like he wants to. Like he wants to play straight, you know. For now, he has a family that. Well, he doesn't have a family. He had a family. He has, you know, a, a you know a, a son that he owes like super child support on. Yeah. And uh, one of the things of his parole is that he needs to find a job. He needs to find a job, and and he's not taking it seriously. He's just, you know, getting. <laughs> he just goes to different places. Like just, I just need a signature. You know, I just need to sh- to show my parole officer. You know, it's <laughs> like don't care. So. Anyway, it ends up uh, getting involved with this uh, with this paraplegic, and well, I I won't spoil it uh, from there. But the the the, the movie was great. The, the movie was really good. You know, it, it is it it is definitely worth watching. And I'm not the type of person that enjoys those type of movies. When I first saw it, when we saw, we were we were walking and we saw that on the big screen, and we were like, okay, that looks like because because the whole thing it was show, it was starting with a chase scene. So you're thinking, and you see Kevin Hart, and then you see Brian Creston, and you're thinking like, oh, it's on. <laughs> it's definitely like, you know, one of those movies. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, there's probably going to be drugs involved and prostitution and high-speed chases and, you know, uh, crooked detectives and crazy shit like that. It's going to be awesome. Not even close. No, not even close. It's not that type of movie at all. But it is still worth a watch, and I will... Uh, recommend it to you. If you haven't seen it already, you probably recognize it. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, they're the I want to call it. I'm trying to think what the the original is called. It's a foreign film. Yeah. Uh, it so it's a film. remake of a foreign film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've wanted to see both. Well, I wanted to see the original, and now I guess I can see both or pick one. Yeah, yeah. it's a recent. <laughs> yeah. It's a recent movie. Came out twenty uh, twenty seventeen. The other movie that I watched real quick, so I can hand it back to you <laughs> in this <laughs> section. Was Creed 2. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I was... haven't even seen the first Creed. Can you believe this? You haven't seen the first no. Creed? I, I want to see it, but my wife already I mean, saw uh, it. Here, uh, me, uh, the person that hasn't seen Rocky 1 or 2 <laughs> or 3, I've only seen from 4 forward. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, including Rocky 5. Wow. <laughs> uh, the best one. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, no, dude, the, the, those movies are... Those movies are Good. No, yeah. no, I know, I know. You know, they are they they are what they are, and 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 uh, with the thing with the, with Creed two, uh, you probably seen from trailers, is that he is facing the son of Drago, Ivan Drago, of Ivan Drago. Yeah, yeah, yeah the son. So it's almost like. Oh, this is the rematch of the century. Uh, once again, we see uh, Creed versus, uh, versus Dra- Father Dra- died to him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, died to, die to his father, anyway. To his father, yeah. What's uh, the kid's name? What's the Drago's kid's name? Oh, oh I'll uh, have to that, go that, into it. it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, I, My bad. It, it's one of the things I don't... I, I just don't remember because I have bad memory, not because it's forgettable or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Where's IMDb when you need it? It's right there, dude. It's uh, What's the, there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, IMDb and the cast of characters. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, did I mention it has Silver Sister Alone? I'm, I'm out of. Oh, yeah. Uh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the cast? Oh, you, my God. Check this? Never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. So oh. I was just wondering what his name was. Oh, here we go. Please, uh, of course, we got Dolph Lundgren uh, playing Ava Drago. Uh, Florian Montt. Tenel? He's playing Victor, Victor, Victor Drago. Victor Drago. Victor Drago. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And he, dude, he, guy's menacing as fuck. It's one of those, what I, I feel like they're, they're trying to recapture that Rocky thing, obviously. They're mm-hmm. going for, you know, for that movie where 
of course, the fights are like super unrealistic. Yeah. Like, all the punches that they're hitting themselves with, it would have yeah. caused like uh, I mean, <laughs> massive brain damage. Dude, <laughs> for real. Yeah. But you still can't help it. You still enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So anyway, it it it's a fun uh, it's a fun movie. You know, for what it is, it's not I'm not gonna say it's like the best of the all because I still enjoy Rocky Four. <laughs> Yeah, the original the fight. The original you know? fight, exactly. <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> like, th- th- Do they play that song? Not no, that one, okay, but they yeah. try to recreate oh, something like they? that. Oh. Not, 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 okay, not to that extent. Because okay, obviously okay. they need to modernize it. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, of course, there, there's going to be the mumble rapper, you know, oh. and, and the, the entrance is going to be, you know. Fair enough. But as far as playing it very close to Rocky IV, like... A little too close? <laughs> a little too close, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Not Fair enough enough. to where you'll be upset, but you'll know it. You'll yeah. definitely notice. Gotcha. Definitely notice. Back to you. <laughs> No. Uh, so yeah, those are the two crazy <laughs> ass games that I was playing. Uh, oh, two two that, opposite ends of the spectrum. Did I mention that I also watched Mary Poppins like three times? I'm not gonna mention yes. that. Yes. I need. To, is it? Well, first I need to know. Is it good? No. Oh. It's Mary Pop. I mean, do you like musicals? Yes, you do uh, like. The hello, yeah. <laughs> My wife hated Why would you watch it three times then? Because they play it on oh, every cruise. Okay. Gotcha. They do play it day sense. and night. It's like, dude, why? What's the thing? Although, granted, what's her name? I forgot how to know the actors. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mary Poppins. Okay. The re- Mary Poppins Returns. Let's see. IMDb. <laughs> Mary. This is horrible. Yeah. Mary Poppins. Emily uh, Blunt. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I should know. I should really know. She but, yeah, is really, but. gorgeous as Mary Poppins. <laughs> it's not a sentence that I thought I was going to say ever in my life. But Mary Poppins, it, she is amazing. You know, 10 out of 10 for her. <laughs> Just for that. The movie is like, it, 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 the thing is, and, and my wife told me this, mm. it's too fantastical. It's, well, the, well, the original one was. No, to that extent, dude. I'm not trying, to that extent. They entered a world where cartoons were running around with them. That is that the original? It is Robert? the original. Yes. See, I can't. <laughs> how am I gonna trust then? Because even my wife tells me, "Oh, I love the the, the previous one." I mean, the ori- the maybe that's what it was. The musical. She doesn't like musicals. Yeah, well, the first one was a musical. Uh, was it a lot musical? Oh my God, super califragilistic, espialidocious. Oh that was oh, a song. Did he didn't have that, or did it? I don't even know. That was a song that she sang in the original. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I, I remember. A I, spoonful I mean, of sugar. I, spoonful of sugar. I mean, she was some medicine. Go. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you will, obviously this obviously movie is I'm gonna freaking like it. So. Put, it on your, <laughs> put it on your list because you're obviously <laughs> loving the hell out of it, and it has a million blood. How does so, uh, yes. how can you go wrong? It's a plus plus. Yeah, yes, yes. No, no Mary Poppins. <laughs> so uh-huh. Gris, huh? <laughs> so yes, so Gris is amazing. Beautiful artwork. Highly recommend it. If you're into that stuff, if you're not, then avoid at all costs because there's no killing. You can grab it. <laughs> you can grab it right now on Steam for eleven something. Eleven. Uh, eleven thirty eight. Yeah, oh, not bad. That's a grab. I did also watch the movie, so I'm gonna quickly just go through them. I saw. I saw. Welcome to Marwin, uh, which stars Marwin. Marwin. Oh, Marwin. M a r w e n. Okay. Uh, which stars Steve Carell, and he is a. He's a person who takes pictures of dolls in positions that look like life, right? And that's what he does. Uh, And he actually is an artist. Uh, But the reason he got to that is a few years before the movie began, he got, this is all in the trailer, so there's nothing, nothing, uh, no spoiler here. Mm. But he had gotten attacked by a bunch of guys who thought that he was queer, and and they just, they literally beat the hell out of him to the point where it took... A, a year or something or more of, of rehabilitation and he forgot who he was uh, oh, before that. Yeah, he never reco- recovered. This is also based on a true story for the record. Oh, wow. Yes. And so he, he anyway, so his mind works in certain ways where he, he gets confused as to real life and the dolls. Mm-hmm. So you see the dolls in motion doing stuff and the doll, one of the dolls, he looks like him and he makes a doll of everyone he knows who tends to be women. Uh-huh. Um, he likes to wear women's shoes. It's, it's an odd story. Um, to say the least. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why he was attacked because he, I guess he was admitting that in the bar or something like that. Uh-huh. Anyway, Steve Carell's great in it. If you know Steve Carell, he's from um, 40-Year-Old Virgin. He's from The, the Office, yeah. uh, all that stuff. He's, he's, re- he's really great in it. The story overall is okay. I like the special effects of the dolls that that the way they look because when it looked like they were, they look like those weird little like wooden dolls, like uh-huh. those old, but they're also like tall. 
They're not like the original. Remember the old GI Joes that were like yeah, they were like t- they were twelve feet that's, tall, uh, yeah. twelve inches tall, or something yeah. like that. Um, so something like that. Those are the type of dolls that he used, and he positions them, and he takes pictures of them, and he obviously he's built these little sets and all that. So it's it's really cool to see. Can't re- can't re- recommend it to pay for it, but I mean if you ca- <laughs> catch it like an HBO or something like that, then it's it's a cool little on, watch. Was this on HBO? No, this is not. HBO. I watched this on Plex. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So if you have Plex, it's there. <laughs> you know, for the record. <laughs> anyway, not bad, but not great. Then I saw a movie that I did love, and that. <laughs> And this is, I'm a little biased on this one for the record, guys. <laughs> uh, Isle of Dogs. <laughs> okay. This is, this. this is a, so I love Wes Anderson. First off, he's like one of my favorite directors. Uh-huh. This is what the cover art looks like. Whoa. <laughs> so that is, <laughs> that's a lot of dogs. <laughs> it's a, what do you call those when they do the, the puppets that they move a little bit, take a picture, move a little bit, take a picture, move Oh, move. Uh, stop motion Stop animation? motion, yes. Yeah, stop stop oh, motion yeah. animation. That's what it is. It is really uh, well done. This is not the first time Wes Anderson has done a uh, stop stop motion picture like this. Uh, it's not his first time. Although he did was the oh, Fantastic Mr. Fox was the first one, which he gets a lot of stars to come out for this. Brian Cranston plays a voice. Oh, yeah. Uh, Edward Norton. Uh, Bill Murray, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> These are all voices <laughs> nice. of certain dogs. Um, so the story, uh, the story's kind of odd. <laughs> Basically, this is in Japan. It takes place in Japan. Dogs are getting sick from something, so they decide to send them, up to send them off to a little island. Quarantine Yeah, them? quarantine island. Oh, God. So suddenly this quarantine island has nothing but dogs after a few years, and it just they're kind of to themselves, whatever. Mm. This boy comes to the island to look for his dog. He was the son of the mayor or something like that, and his dog and him had this relationship, whatever. Mm. And he goes he goes to get there. It's funny because... <laughs> so the very beginning, uh-huh. it tells you... First of all, I, I love Wes Anderson for little stupid shit like this. Uh-huh. It tells you at the very beginning that, hey, the dogs speak in English... Everyone else speaks in whatever language there comes. So sometimes you have subtitles, sometimes you won't. <laughs> but it's meant to be in a certain way. Because when you hear the kid speaking, uh-huh. he's speaking in Japanese. You don't know what he's saying, though. Right. So, but you are the dog. Like you're, you're hearing this from the dog's view, and this is them, too. They don't know what he's saying, either. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you hear the dogs talking. It's so funny to hear. You have, it's an odd movie. If so you it's like, animated. I mean, I it's technically motion. animation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. If you like, you've seen Kubo and the Two Strings. That's also... Um, stop animation. Um, what's the other one? The nightmare. No, oh, nightmare the nightmare for Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Those are all st- that, that type of that type of yes, uh, animation yes. is, uh, which I love for the record. I love yeah. all that good stuff. And coming from Wes Anderson because he's such a good visual angle director and and little weird, just yeah. <laughs> just funny stuff that he does. His his fun. His humor is very dry in the sense that it's not meant to be funny, but ends up being hilarious. Yeah. And he's always bring that to his films. I absolutely love it. That was. One of my favorite uh, movies that I've seen, but I'm, again, that's I'm very cool. biased because I love Wes Anderson. Oh, all that's, his that's, films. That's you know fine. Right? It's actually, so, yeah, yeah it, that that actually speaks to uh, to 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 how good the movie is. Yeah. So, his my favorite regardless movie, if it's Wes Anderson or not. The uh, my favorite film of his is the Grand Budapest Hotel. Favorite thing, absolutely great movie. Highly recommend uh, Isle of Dogs. Nice. And we're bad guys, and it is time for our trailer of the week. Yeah, did you guys do that trailer of the week last year? Last year, last, last week. Yes, we did. Okay, which one was it? I'm glad you asked. I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> you should I, be tuning in. I will in. have yeah. to. I will have to listen <laughs> to the podcast. To listen to the show. Why now? So. You decided to go away uh, to. You can admit it. It was, it was Aladdin. Come on, it, it was Aladdin. You, you got to admit it. Was it was not Aladdin. Yeah, that's Aladdin. Uh, no, it was. It was Batman. It was Batman. What? Hush. Yeah, there's an animated film, Batman Hush. What? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to see this. <laughs> okay, we we were right. No, no. <laughs> I just see this after the show. After this, these messages. <laughs> uh, no, the trailer of the week, guys, is Terminator, and I forgot the rest of it. <laughs> Terminator Dark Fate. Dark Fate. I almost say Salvation, <laughs> which was completely okay. wrong. Wrong one, yeah. Yeah. Dark Fate, which I don't like the name for the record, but yeah, me neither. 
yeah, we watched it. <laughs> Sarah Connor, the original Sarah Connor is coming back. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. I guess because we needed her to come back. Oh, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I'm not, I, she needs to come back and save the series uh, or the franchise, maybe. He, here's my question. It, why Terminator Dark Fate, which already makes it sound like, uh, well, this is one of them throwaway Terminators, instead of Terminator 3 for real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a Terminator 3. I know. Rise but of Machines, it, which was no bueno. No bueno, yeah. exactly. So, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. So uh, let's be real. Well, if this one is meant to be reckoning everything that happened after 2, then this is like yeah, so no, the yeah, real yeah, yeah. It should be the three. three. Exactly. It should be called Terminator, the real. The real three. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what did you think of the trailer, sir? I don't know sometimes. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. So so Terminator. Yes. As a, as a whole franchise, like I, I think it's it's lost because he has had... Uh, it has had, mov- even though they have a couple of good movies, uh, mm-hmm. or some might say like maybe three. I, I don't believe there's more than that. I like I don't I, the 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 last few ones that have come out have apparently have not been that great. No, you might the just, very last one, a Genesis was. Oh, well, yeah, it was, it was yeah. So it's one of those where it's almost it almost feels like. Police Academy after Police Academy five. <laughs> so for the record, or four rather. The, the last one that I enjoyed still wasn't great, uh-huh. but it was like, like in the list, right? I would say that Terminator two uh-huh. is probably probably the best one. I think Terminator yeah. one would come right after that, and then Terminator Salvation would was the one. Salvation. Salvation was a two thousand and nine Christian Bale. Uh, that's the one with Ford. Christian Bale. Okay, yeah. that's the one that I almost called this one. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Which, hey, I'm I'm completely down if this one ends up being good. It's just that nothing that I saw in the trailer mm, got me excited. Like w- w- watching Sarah Connor, you know, old Sarah Connor, you know, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> with know, a rocket launcher, with a rocket launcher, and then, exactly. And then you see like, old Arnold Schwarzenegger. We already <laughs> saw. Oh yeah. Like okay, uh, let's take it in parts. <laughs> so old Sarah Connor. Being a total badass, like I already saw uh, the the side of Sarah Connor, that the side of badass Sarah Connor that I wanted to watch on Terminator, Terminator Two. Two. Oh, There's oh, yeah. no need for uh, to have another one other than, hey fans, <laughs> <laughs> this is Terminator. Remember Terminator? And we're bringing her back. Remember? Yeah. Her? Hey, I, Terminator. What will be a Terminator without? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Here we go. Although that again, he is old for some reason <laughs> because Terminator's age, I guess. The well, yeah, because the, the skin is the the skin is actually living skin. Oh, uh, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, so that's, that's yeah, 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 that's true. So that's true. They, yeah, they fought. They they cleared that up a while oh, ago okay. in a couple of episodes. <laughs> yeah, a couple of uh, movies. Back. But isn't this that? So is this? Another Terminator, because because the second one he just he wasn't around. It. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So I'm, I have no clue where this one came <laughs> from because I'm like, so for the record, here's what we do know: they are retconning everything after Terminator Two, Terminator Two, Judgment Day, Judgment Day. So they probably are retconning certain things from it too. For oh all we God, know. no, I mean, no, that's the other thing no. I think of. Yeah, because. You're right. <laughs> he he literally sacrificed himself. No, we have to destroy everything. This is the last one. This is he the last one. Yes, head. Yeah. exactly. So I I I don't know. But yeah, the, there is a oh, as you can see in the trailer, there is a human a human cyborg. Yes, it's like she she's like no, I'm human. I. Just have machine parts? Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. See, that that's, that's the, those are the, the things that, yes, even though the, the, the idea sounds cool, like, there's too many red flags on this <laughs> to sound good. So, and, some of the stuff that is easing my, uh, <laughs> my uh, your, your concerns, yeah, yeah, is that one... Uh, James Cameron is involved. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's producing, but James Cameron is one of those who is a hands-on producer, right? right. So, okay, I can I can definitely okay I can mm-hmm. like say I understand that. Um, Tim Miller, who is the director of Deadpool, uh, oh, yeah. is directing it. So I'm like, okay, so we have someone who who can handle action and stuff like that. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So with those type of things, I'm like. One concern I do have is uh, David Goyer. David Goyer is a writer, uh, but he he's he's great for the most part. But sometimes he has these weird things which I don't really Jesus care for. Christ, so how do you remember n- no names like this? 
Well, first it's off, it's incredible. It was, I would think that <laughs> your mind filled with football players and stuff like that well, will be enough. My well, the <laughs> fact that my mind, my mind, the football thing is clear is, right now. It's off, it's off yeah, yeah, it's in the off season, so it's like ah, okay, no big deal. Um, you can use the other ten percent of your brain. <laughs> Exactly. The other ninety percent of your brain. Now. Exactly. He, David Goyer. Oh gosh, he he's done. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, David Goyer has written uh, Batman Begins, uh, The Dark Knight. Who? David Goyer. The Dark Knight. Yeah, uh, no. Dark Knight. Yeah. Unfortunately, he also wrote Batman vs Superman. You see, this is what I'm oh. saying. <laughs> You know, so it's like you're good, uh, and then you're you're either really good or just god awful. You know what I mean? And so you're platinum games. <laughs> is what he's saying? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 exactly. He is the platinum games of writing. <laughs> right. So okay. what that means is you're you're hoping uh-huh. for a near automata, but it's possible you may get a teenage mutant ninja turtles. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it's like you no. don't know. Yeah. So <laughs> oh no, you speak my language now. <laughs> <laughs> Does this make Ouch. sense? <laughs> so, so that's what you, the one with the writing. So I don't know what he's going to do. Who knows? It, it is what it, he also did. Man of Steel, for the record. Oh, oh uh, David. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Again, he's not a horrible writer. It's just occasionally, yeah. <laughs> you know, things just go off the deep end. You will hope that with uh, with uh, James Cameron uh, producing. You know, yeah, yeah, you can rein his ass in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. I would hope so. I would, yeah. I would hope so. Yes. So. <laughs> All right. So I mean, it was it was tough. Choice. There weren't that many uh, trailers. No. no uh, really. You know, to pick that are, that are new. Like I saw the tra- uh, the the final trailer for 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 Brightburn, mm-hmm. which is a movie that I've, I've been very interested from the from from the get go. You know, unfortunately, uh, let's just say, <laughs> ha, ha, the Dream Twister has a, a, a weak stomach for <laughs> gory stuff. For certain gore. Okay. For certain levels of gore. Like, I don't mind them in games at all. And, uh, they, you know, do nothing. And, and like, that, that, the level that you will see on something like uh, Game of Thrones or, or an It movie or something like that is, like, it doesn't create... You know, <laughs> nausea. <laughs> nausea, yeah. <laughs> but there is a limit. And from what I've been reading so far here and there, I don't know if this is true. It might be, it, it, it might be like you very well mentioned that, you know, reviewers might be comparing this to, oh, even though it's not, that might be putting in the eyes of, oh, this is like a dark, you know, Superman, Superman. story. Any gore will be too much. It will be, or, yes. or, oh, consider oh, all too yeah, much, yeah. you know, yeah. But, uh, like, from what you see in the trailers and stuff like that, like, I get the feeling that, no, this could actually be <laughs> one of it's those. It's just crossing some lines. Yeah, yeah, it might be uh, to, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know if to Saw levels, because I never saw any of the Saw movies. Oh, uh, really? What oh, makes okay. you think yeah, that I would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought about the question, like, uh, yeah. I <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, I totally My wouldn't God. know. So so yeah so mm-hmm. I don't know I might I might I might still go and I don't know go my I, I can always go my I, <laughs> yeah so, yeah unless it happens really fast yeah <laughs> yeah unless yeah. it happens really fast and it gives me a guard and then I can't sleep for a few weeks <laughs> exactly exactly all right guys so let's move into our news items um, oh good because uh, I've been on vacation so I don't know what the hell has happened really so this is almost <laughs> you haven't even you, ca- you haven't even uh, no I, I I caught up with a couple things uh but it's <laughs> I'm telling you, it's almost <laughs> going to be you. <laughs> uh, let's see where we start. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just start since we're uh, discussing movies. I'm going to get this one out of the way. John Wick, Chapter 4. What? Confirmed for a 2021 release. No, so... no, 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 sir. No, yes. no. Uh, you, see, you see what the problem is with Hollywood? Do you see the problem? It's money, bro. It's it, I don't know if it's Hollywood or just capitalism it's, or who knows. It's the way, it, like, it's the way that it this the new Hollywood basically ruins its own movies. It's like I said it last time when we saw part two and we knew there was going to be a part three. I said this has to be the last one. Yes, I absolutely. said it back then, and clearly it's not. No, they didn't hear you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's doing well, and I'm sure that's what. Like green lit it. Hey, I get it, but like, go I out care? on top. Yeah, go out on top. Exactly, because I I, I I don't think I would care about John Wick Four. At some point, it gets too old. Yeah, at yeah, some point, yeah, it gets yeah. too old. Yeah. Uh, following Chapter Three, Parabellum's number one box office debut, knocking Avengers Endgame from the top after a three week run. John Wick Four has been confirmed. Not only that, the sequel has a release date already. May twenty first of twenty twenty one. 
Mm. Uh, the first John Wick movie opened in 2014 and grossed just under 90 million total, total. Excuse me, 90 million total. Sequel 2017 grossed uh, 172 million in its lifetime. The third movie, which debuted just last Friday, made 57 million domestic and another 36 million overseas. That's 93 million total. And that's just in this first weekend. Wow. <laughs> so it's already trying to do much better. So I guess that's what it is. Looking yeah. at it, I go, oh, the, the line is going up. Hey. You know what I mean? Uh, so they're waiting for it to come back down and go, okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll pull the plug here. Yeah. I, 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 at I that point, that, the, the, the series is ruined. At that point, yeah, exactly. E- exactly. That's when you start seeing, like, uh, you know, uh, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. John or, Wick, Tokyo Drift. Or, or The Phantom Menace, or shit like that, you know? <laughs> oh. oh, man. Uh, good thing that the uh, gaming industry does not do that with sequels, you know? Oh, no, yeah. They're, I, they're they, very, you know, loyal. Uh, yeah, uh, they just... They, they know, hey, one, we need to move on to new IP. Once I'm done. Once I'm done. That's exactly. So, this year's Call of Duty... <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> it's called Call of Duty Modern Warfare, <laughs> and yes, this is not a joke. <laughs> uh, this is as for Eurogamer. This year's Call of Duty game is called Call of Duty Modern Warfare, according to reports and Eurogamer's own sources. It is not to be confused. I love how this goes. <laughs> it is not to be confused with the first Modern Warfare, also known as. Call of Duty 4, colon, Modern Warfare, <laughs> released in 2007, or Call of Duty, colon, Modern Warfare Remastered, <laughs> released in 2016. <laughs> wow. Again, not to be confused. Not to be confused, yes. Yeah. It's a reboot. No, no, it's not. <laughs> despite, despite the name, it is very much a new name, in a new game. Twitter user Long Sensation spilled the beans on the Modern, uh, on the modern Warfare moniker this afternoon. It says, I've heard, num- I've heard uh, this uh, name previously. Uh, Jason, uh, Kiltaku's Jason Schreier has also tweeted uh, to say it is legit. Uh, the tweet actually it says, Call of Duty 2019 is called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm not joking. Well, wow. <laughs> That's what it says. Uh, that's the tweet from Lon Sensation. Uh, now, the fact that 2019's Call of Duty is a modern warfare game has been uh, something of an open secret for a while. In, so, in some respects, it's a pretty obvious return. This year's game is being made by Modern Warfare Studio Infinity War, and no one was uh, expecting a direct sequel to either of the previous entries, <laughs> Ghost, which launched in 2013, or uh, Infinity Warfare 2016. Oh, okay. Which is... They're the ones... Who, who's doing this? That's that's uh, Infinity, Infinity War. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And 2016 uh, Infinity in, Infinite Warfare. Sorry, not Infinity Warfare. <laughs> Infinity Stones are in my head. <laughs> Infinite Warfare, uh, if you remember, was the 2016 one that was mostly in space and no one nope. <laughs> no one cared. And I think we mentioned earlier that the Call of Duty remake was released with it uh, just to kind of get people excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is a, this this is this was the trend, right? You did more. Uh, you had Call of Duty, of course, World War, and then World War got stale. So now you bring it to the modern era, and then when you bring it to the modern era, you pass the modern era, you go to the future, but then you go too far in the future. Now you're in space. What the hell is that? That's not Call of Duty. So you need to bring it back to the root, and you bring it back to World War One, right? And then from there, you know, people get tired already because now it's faster to get tired because we have had <laughs> World War era uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, yep. So now you have Modern Warfare. But wait, uh, this Modern Warfare, what do we call it? I don't know. Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. Because I mean, that will sell. It's it, all encompassing. Hey, uh, you know, yeah. We can't. Well, we can't do Black Ops again because <laughs> we did <laughs> yeah. b- Black, you know, Black Ops or what was the. The battle royale thing that they, whatever it was called. Oh, blackout. Yeah, blackout. We can't do that again now. So this one has a story, and it's gonna be modern warfare <laughs> because because just because just because <laughs> to bring it back uh, a little bit to the news uh, for uh, for when it comes to movies, mm-hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog movie oh, delayed God. three months so they can fix. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) We'll have to wait a little longer to see (laughs) Sonic the Hedgehog hit the big screen. The film Sonic the Hedgehog, which has been pushed to February 14th, 
Valentine's Day of 2020, making it a perfect oh, wow. Valentine's Day movie to see with your boo. Uh, <laughs> for the record, I'm reading this off of Polygon. <laughs> the original release date was set for November this year, but has been delayed in order to fix Sonic's look. Uh, the announcement comes after a wave of internet backlash follow, uh, uh, that followed the uh, first trailer, with many complaining that be- the beloved Hedgehog's design is not <laughs> good. <laughs> the stinging internet critique prompt uh, director uh, Jeff Fowler to declare that Sonic's look would, ha- uh, would be redone before the final version hits theaters. So clearly... <laughs> I said it on the post that, that's on the group, guys. <laughs> this movie is not going to make its money back. No, okay? I don't know how not. much they spent on it already. The movie doesn't look very good to begin with. Yeah, now you're going to push it back, spend a little bit more to fix it. You're not going to see this money. <laughs> no, it def- definitely not. Also, ha- does that happen often? Have you heard of movies getting delayed? Like it hasn't yes. a release day? And Alita. Then- Alita Battle Angel got delayed. Oh, is that yeah. right? Oh, yeah, it happens. It doesn't happen often. Not like games. Right. Games happen more frequently than not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but with movies, for the most part, no. Oh, okay. Time. All right. Yeah, that's funny. I didn't know, I didn't know that it was... Uh, yeah, worked, I got the, the, it delayed like almost a whole year. Wow. Yeah. So, keeping, keeping on movies, uh, this one, I, I hate to admit the fact that this one got me, like, pricked up a little bit, even though... Okay. Uh, so, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic movie... Uh, being written Ugh. reports. Uh, hold on, okay. I got it. I got you, nice. Yeah. The era of the uh, of the old republic was actually a very interesting era to explore. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. like I got perked up a little bit because it's like okay, so let's we can be done with this like this this trilogy stuff. You know, not that it has been ter- terrible or anything like that, but you know, it has it has mixed reactions. <laughs> no, yeah. but, but then again, that's the internet nowadays. The idea of going back to that, you know, to that era, to the past, if we can really call it the past, it, it, it is interesting because it does have some interesting lore to, you know, to explore. They could actually go, and I, I would love if they would go into the route of, uh, you know, the story of Malak and the story of, oh God, I forgot. Is the this other from Knights of the Old Republic? This is from Knights okay. of, the Old Repo- okay. the, of the Old Republic. And, and they there's actually books on it. There's actually, if I'm not mistaken, there's some graphic novels that went way, way back, um, like yeah. five thousand like years, 5, years or like that. that before, that's yeah. the era. That's, yeah, yeah. And that's those kind of those, those graphic novels are actually pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. You don't know anybody, so it's like, which is great. You know, it's it stakes it, the what happens makes sense. It's all lore yeah. of the uh, Star Wars universe, but you don't have you're not tied to a character like Skywalker, for yeah. instance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they can. It, there is there there are there's opportunity there. So the report, which, by the way, is come from GameSpot, says uh, Lucasfilm might be developing a new movie based on the 2003 BioWare's RPG Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, according to BuzzFeed. Lucas has hired uh, Alter Carbon creator uh, Laida, I don't know how to pronounce that name, Calogridis? Ka- Calo Calo okay. The okay. one who made uh, Alter Carbon? Yeah, yeah, okay. Creator, uh, who also wrote the script for Shutter Island and Alita: Battle Angel. Speaking of, there you go. To pen, uh, to pen the script, Colo Gritis, uh also pro- uh, also produced the box office juggernaut Avatar, uh, which is the highest grossing movie in history, at least for now. He says, <laughs> <laughs> yes, soon to be overtaken. <laughs> soon to be overtaken. Yeah, exactly. Knights of the Old Republic takes place four thousand years before the events of the Star Wars prequels. And it centers around the clash between the Sith and the Republic. It's one of the more highly regarded Star Wars games ever released. That's true. That game mm-hmm. was amazing. Uh, news, uh, news that LucasArt is developing a Knights of the Old Republic movie is not a surprise. At Star Wars Celebration in April, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy confirmed that the studio, that the studio talks about uh, making a Knights of the Old Republic movie all the time. That they talk about it all the time, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kennedy straight up co- uh, confirmed at the time that the Knights of the Old Republic film would be at least considered. Uh, and then the quote says, "Yes, we are developing. We are developing something to look at." She told MTV News at the time. According to uh, to BuzzFeed, Carlo Gritis was you know is close to finishing the initial draft of her script for Knights of the Old Republic, uh, which could be a trilogy. Three anonymous sources told this to BuzzFeed. Carlo Gritis uh, will become the first woman to 
script a Star Wars movie since 1980s, The Empire Strikes Back, which was co-written by Lee Brackett. Uh, this seems to be so. So, so all, all, all signs post to hey, this is this this is probably more than just a silly rumor. This is yeah. probably you know legitimate. I mean, you have enough names and stuff involved at some point. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of names, nice and they're you know they're saying like yeah, we're exploring that option. I I would have to think so because. We are getting Rise of uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker this year, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, what else is there to explore? The far, farther, farther future? Like, who cares about that already? Because you know? this is meant to be like the Star Wars, the <laughs> the Skywalker <laughs> saga, <laughs> saga, yes. whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? It, okay, so what else do you want to risk going farther away to? You know, characters that. That no that no longer resonate with the Star Wars, you know. Although, not to say that they couldn't wouldn't be able to create, you know, new new characters. But I'm saying like, is that really gonna call people's attention to it? No. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to hey, there's a whole history that hasn't been touched. There is a good, you know, th- there is a good material for it. Yeah. You know, I don't know if they will stick close to like the games. I I I will I will hope so that they don't just try to rewrite and retcon everything, you know, from it. But who knows? Yeah. All right. Well, looks like we're going to be keeping it on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, on the movie. Well, this yeah, case will no be game, t- so. the, uh, TV news. Actually, actually, I do have some game news for later. But uh, <laughs> Sony's PlayStation division, uh, known as Sony Interactive Entertainment, is bolstering efforts to bring its video game properties to film and television with a new enterprise called PlayStation Productions. <laughs> Uh, according to TV, an TV, 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 and movies, <laughs> <laughs> according to an interview with PlayStation Productions leads in the Hollywood Reporter, the new PlayStation division wants to give quote oh, excuse me wants to quote give our worlds life in another spectrum end quote. Uh, PlayStation production is being led by Asad Kizilbash, an 11-year veteran of Sony's mar- uh, PlayStation marketing group, and overseen by Sean Layden. Uh, which is the chairman of SIE. Uh, The new production company will develop and produce projects internally as opposed to licensing the uh, PlayStation properties out to external uh, Hollywood studios, Kizilbash told the Hollywood Reporter. He goes on to mention, these are uh, quotes from, looks like it's from Sean Layden. In all, PlayStation Productions says it has more than 100 game titles to choose from, but did not specify which properties it will be developing movies or TV shows around. Layden told The Hollywood Reporter the team has, quote, looked at what Marvel has done in taking the world of comic books and making it into the biggest thing in film in the film world, end quote, but did not to commit did not commit to pursue such ambitious crossover cinematic universes. <laughs> uh, good <laughs> choice. Yeah. All star, the movie, the movie. Good the choice. Um, so basically, it sounds like they're they're. Working their way into <laughs> into something TV <laughs> movie related, uh, obviously PlayStation View. That would be obviously that's something that would bolster base, PlayStation View's subscriptions that's if true. you actually have uh you know content to give that yeah original specific, content yeah. specific yeah. you know to that demographic also yes to, exactly to gamers. How do I feel about having some of my properties made into film and TV <laughs> shows? Maybe not so good considering the history of of everyone else but i can kind of make sense when it's like well you can license it off to paramount or or new line cinema or whoever you know columbia pictures who don't know shit about the fucking game but want to make a movie about it or you can make it yourself since you know what the fucking game is about so i kind of understand that yeah at the same time i don't want a movie (laughs) Well, I'm okay with well, just. Well, I yeah. mean, let's let's differentiate it here, right? Because we're making, you know, or or at least I'm making fun of the <laughs> TV, TV, TV of Microsoft when Microsoft went into like, oh, and we're gonna have, uh, you know, the digital entertainment is gonna be beyond games. It's gonna be, we're gonna have our properties and we're gonna have, you know, Halo movie, hello, and yeah. <laughs> and obviously How'd that, that go for them? exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Th- this is different, so. You know, if Microsoft's, Microsoft have the forte of the you know their network and their you know, and and their uh, hardware development and yada yada yada, but Sony has 
you know, the production, the the the, the, the movies. The, yeah, the, they have their own movies. The yeah, they man. have their own movies. Sony studio. Pictures, yeah. Exactly. The music companies and stuff like that. So I can see that being a more successful venture for Sony than what it ended up being for Microsoft. The problem mm-hmm. with Microsoft is that they wanted to do some sort of like hodgepodge like <laughs> mixed games with movies and like hey you're gonna be playing this game and then you're gonna watch a boo half an hour movie and here's uh whatever that game was all right no uh that game that game from microsoft i don't know a quantum leap quantum quantum oh, conundrum, conundrum. Quantum, no, no, we can, we can, quantum break quantum break thank yeah. you <laughs> That's the one, yeah. here's quantum break watch half an hour episode, oh, sure. yeah. and then play and then a play little bit game. and yep. then it's, it's like no man come on just no stop it you know this way however we might be able to see i don't know uh you know <laughs> an uncharted movie that is they've been not, trying to make that forever well, and, uh, okay. and now it's more possible because what uh, let's be let's, let's be real what other sony property could it be besides I mean, uncharted be, and god of war and horizon and, zero dawn uh, horizon zero dawn maybe uh, let me see last of us <laughs> last of us you know what else is it gonna uh, be it's gonna be the bigger title that's for sure yeah yeah, yeah they already did spider-man ratchet and clank <laughs> they already did spider-man nice <laughs> good one okay so i got news from the future uh, aside from this, uh, PlayStation 5 is going to be all connected you know, to, the, to the internet <laughs> all the time. You need to go connect- and you can't <laughs> lend your games to anyone. <laughs> if your friend wants to play your game, you have you to be logged in. You, you can only share it once. Exactly. Uh, it's only for 24 hours. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this just the thing. To, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's apologizing for the pre because their pre orders for the PlayStation 5 are not going well enough. Not going well, yes. Yes. And they say they have heard the gaming community. <laughs> They're they are, change the they are removing a specific item to lower the price. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, they're including Kinect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're like, we're going to take out the 8K. Uh, this way we can we can <laughs> lower the price to three ninety nine. I'm going to... Uh, all right. So, 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 so this is actually... This, this hurts to watch. <laughs> Apex Legends <laughs> revenue tumbles by 74%. Wow. In two months. Wow. As a surprise to almost no one, <laughs> <laughs> it seems Apex Legends has uh, has been unable to maintain an ex- explosive start as the game's digital revenue has significantly dropped uh, for the second month in a row. Uh, the stats come from uh, Nielsen-owned market research firm Superdata, uh, or Superdata, uh, which reports the game has now entirely dropped off its top rankings list uh, for earnings on consoles and PC. How bad did that? How bad is the damage? Well, Super Data estimates that Apex Legends earned 24 million uh, in April, down nearly three quarters from its February launch mon- uh, month earnings of 92 million. That's only pennies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. That's a mighty fall of grace uh, from grace, uh, particularly considering Super Data believes Apex Legends had a stronger, uh, the strongest start for a free-to-play title of all time. The you got to keep up the uh, updates. That's what it is. I think it's about yeah. I think that that's that's one of the problems, right? The fact that it's good because I don't want to. I don't want to say this is the fault because honestly, it crunching is never good. No, uh, yeah, no it, it's good to see that they're taking an uh, an approach to uh, to the to the battle. Uh, what is it called? The battle uh, battle passes. passes? Mm-hmm. You know that are not ex super exploiting their employees or I don't know maybe it is who knows but uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case but because of that they're not really competing at these uh, at, at the, at the uh, level as the other one at the yeah. level of, of like Fortnite, Fortnite yeah yeah. which right now like every time uh, like there's a movie tie- like there was a John Wick movie tying for Fortnite you know yeah who would have thought you know so, I mean Avengers <laughs> and of course and he's been doing Avengers. that all the time yes that's what that's all they're doing now which is smart don't get me yeah. wrong gets yeah. people keeps uh, people in there but yeah 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 uh, the news might not be a shock to many uh, while we don't have an up-to-date figure on Apex Legends player numbers uh, a major tell uh, was is drop off in twitch viewing figures yeah along with uh, this the first battle pass for Apex Legends generally under one players and many in the community have complained about the lack of fresh content. Given EA's digital net 
uh, net booking for the last quarter were largely driven by Apex Legends. Uh, this drop off in earnings will be a major concern for uh, for EA. So so yeah, the, the, I guess the 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 first the the battle pass the 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 first one disappointed. They're obviously not making content at the at the rate at the rate yeah. uh, mm-hmm. of of you know their closest competitor you know Fortnite. Players are fickle. Yeah, yeah I mean, when it comes to those type of games, you gotta yeah. have the content. It's gotta be consistent. Um, Division uh, Ubisoft mm-hmm. learn from the Division, the first one, mm-hmm. and Division Two is rolling. You know, what I'm saying their yeah. their content is consistent, and so that's just what it is. When you, you and I get it, yes, Division is a is a sixty dollar title. Mm-hmm. This it's still it it still doesn't matter. It's a game, and it needs to have content, even if it's free or not. True. So, yeah. yeah. I have uh, two small last pieces uh, here. I just want to kind of quickly uh, get in here. Neo 2 Alpha Test coming to PlayStation 4. Actually, already in PlayStation 4. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. Uh, just wow. as it did with the original Neo, developer Team Ninja will give select PlayStation 4 owners early access to Neo 2 as part of a closed Alpha Test. This Alpha Test will run from May 24th today through June 2nd. Uh, on Twitter, Team Ninja said that the close. Alpha is designed to quote ha- uh, to help gather feedback from the uh, for the development. It sounds like the alpha will be limited to a small pool to ensure the team can manage the feedback. There are no plans to expand the alpha at the moment, but please keep an eye on our channels uh, for more info in the future. Said uh, Team Ninja. So uh, for Neo fans, uh, Neo Two. Maybe available God. for you to give it. <laughs> Yo, that, that that damn, that was a great game. That I wouldn't even mind nowadays going back. Of course, I probably have to start because I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The little bit of uh, you gotta get used to it again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, what's the Sekiro check here? <laughs> so Sekiro, <laughs> it's still it's still uh like installed, <laughs> and I want to go back to it. I just I needed to hang up the sword <laughs> for a little bit. I just let me just hang up the sword a little bit. That's wrong with this game. Yeah. You hang up the sword. And you know what the funny thing is, uh, Chaos has the game. Yeah. So yeah. he was talking about last week, and I was just like, oh my god, I kind of want to go back now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, oh, but, but it wasn't in a. But no, it wasn't in. I mean, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? I mean, even if you stop playing it. It will, I'll argue that you have more than. I had a chance. lot of fun with the game. Yeah, yeah at that point is yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So I will, I will prob. I mean, I, I want like I will I not hesitate to recommend Neo to anyone right now. Yeah, it is fantastic. It played very well. It's probably, and granted, I did not play Sekiro, mm. but this is probably one of the best Dark Soul ish type of games <laughs> out there. Gotcha. My last little piece, Razer closing the Ouya store, oh, officially no. killing the console. I am shocked the console was still alive. <laughs> like this is the news here is like, wait, Ouya is still a thing? What was, the hell? Well, they get bought by Razer. The and it, then, evidently that means nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? no. It, well, they, they were I, like the news. First of all. They paid way too freaking much for oh, you know Jesus for, for for Ouya. Yes. Uh, Ouya, so they must have been rolling on money. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, well, that's another thing altogether. <laughs> yeah. And uh, dude, uh, by the way, all uh, to, to this full disclosure, I was a total Ouya believer yes, you were. and backer. I I saw you I, had an Ouya. I paid my ninety nine dollars. I bought the Ouya. I had it for a bit. I. Ended up selling it to an unnamed you know, source for sixty dollars, chakra. And uh, but I played it. That the idea behind the, the like the, the 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 machine was cute and it was Android based and it was like you could you could pretty much uh, homebrew you know anything on it. It, it, it was it was the the piece of hardware itself was good. Mm-hmm. That controller was garbage. <laughs> It was, te- it was, ho- it was, it was an abomination. And I'm talking about, I've seen some abominations, con- you know, control abominations, you know. Uh, it, the Jaguar, for instance. The yeah. Jaguar, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
the Nintendo uh, 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 64 uh, no. example. That was you perfectly know. fine. You need Perfect. three hands to grab. Um, to only grab you it. would need three hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and others. Evidently, but you didn't speak this language. This, <laughs> this thing was atrocious. And not in, not in form, but in function. Ugh. It was, it, it, dude, it, it, it was cheap. It was plasticky. Like you will be playing with it, and it will come. Like the the, the back, the, the battery compartment will open up. <laughs> the buttons Jesus. felt terrible, to, mushy to to press. It was, dude. It, it, and and then they had uh, 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 when they were throwing that when they were showing the videos of how they were designed this controller to be the perfect controller, and they would show the mold, the different mold that they have selected, and of course, like give me a. Fucking break. Whatever you spent, you spent a half a day <laughs> designing this controller. Yes, yes. Can't believe I gave money <laughs> <laughs> to get this one. Uh, I'm not shocked, but <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> online services for Razer's Ouya and Forge TV services will shut down at the end of June. Razer wow. announced today. The shutdown brings to an end the ambitious, turbulent, and mostly unsuccessful <laughs> travails. <laughs> of the crowdfunding console for Android video games. Ouya as a device was actually discontinued back in 2015. Yes, it was, yeah. When Razer bought the startup company and merged its content library into Razer's Forge micro console ecosystem. While Ouya hung on uh, as a brand name and a publisher for Android games, Razer was supporting the online storefront with its Forge TV hardware. Now, both are gone. Or will be, anyway. Aww. Until June 25th is what you'll have. So, Ouya, rest in peace. Ouya. <laughs> when, you, when you turn it on, that's, that's the sign it'll make. Really? Oh, uh, God. Yeah. Hey, my Ouya had the engraving. Do you still have it? No, I sold it to Chakra. Oh, you did sell it to Chakra. Chakra, yeah. what in the world? He's a game collector. He's uh, the collector. Yeah, and I would argue that will become a collector's item. It will now. There, yeah. there is a, Absolutely. His, there is oh, a history yeah. of it. Yeah, it yeah. had a six-year lifespan, believe it or not. Yeah, it's true. Six if we, freaking if we years. Call it a lifespan. Yeah. I mean, yeah, truly, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was begging. It to was be mostly the Walking Dead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't really have uh, anything major, major, but I did wanted to address this because damn, Square Enix, about time. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII patch uh, patch fixes the long. Uh, the long-running music bug. Uh, and the MIDI files? I'm talking about. Oh. I'm talking about the yeah the the not not the remake or anything like that. I'm talking about the final the yeah, yeah. the the port. The port. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> they disappointed everyone. Yeah. Because <laughs> the bug was ridiculous, and uh, this actually goes back all the way to like the first PC version of Final Fantasy VII, which believe it or not, that was like 2000 and what? Yeah, it was a long time. Er- yeah. Early two- early 2000s. Anyway. I don't think this address this patch goes as far back. I think this is more like the most recent one. The yeah. most recent Final Fan, uh, Final Fantasy port, Final Fantasy VII port. That you'll be on the overworld, and you know the the music in the overworld is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, it's, dude, yeah. it yeah, is yeah. moment. So, and then, you know, the game obviously has random encounters. Mm-hmm. Now, how you feel you, after every random thing? <laughs> Man, that game is just too classic, bro. Yeah, Let's be real. <laughs> they I better get it. it. <laughs> I'm not saying the, that it's the best one. Definitely not saying no. it's the best one, but it <laughs> is definitely a memorable is, one. Yeah, and it is it definitely is. a fan favorite. It is definitely, yeah, yeah. After every battle, it'll. It will go back to the overworld. How would you feel the music of the overworld starting from the beginning again? So, like, every, I don't know, 10 seconds, <laughs> you will hear the beginning of... <laughs> Just re- keep starting over. Yes. And you know it starts really slow. It doesn't start yeah. with... Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't start with that. It's, it starts... That song very slow, starts yeah. very slow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you never get to actually appreciate the the music of it unless you were just standing still, not moving, <laughs> not muzzle. <laughs> so because you know you didn't want to trigger the random encounters. Anyway, I'm glad that that's actually getting that, that, that's getting, getting patched. patched. And uh, I don't know, that might be enough to let me just go back in and play it and 
see what it, I own it on I, PC, I think. I but. think I have it somewhere. I don't know where. And I've thought about going back. And I'm like, uh I was playing uh, it when it was on PC. When it came out on PC semi recently, mm-hmm. I was playing it down to the part where it's you just, get it's, out it's of Midgar. It's a big game. It's a whole game. It it's is a big all game. game. Yeah. And 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 frankly, I have to get the Knights of the Round. You know, what I mean? like I, I have to do uh, everything I require. You have to do the weapons. Yeah, I have to do all that. Like so like that. I'm like, uh, oh, I just, don't know. It's a it's a mountain to climb. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for the remake. <laughs> if it, you know, yeah. Please don't mess it up. Oh God, please. please don't. Yeah, don't make something stupid and weird. Just. I don't know, Square. Just, I, 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 don't, I don't know, Square. <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't know sometimes. I just don't know. Man, give me the Platinum. <laughs> Actually, I don't know about that either. Don't do that either. <laughs> we'll that, could go, that. that could go head or tail. Yeah, you don't yeah. know. Yep. Uh, anyway, sir, that's all I have. All right, guys. We'll give us a moment. We'll be right back with our Hot, hot Topic. topic. We're back, guys, and it is time for our hot topic. hot topic of the week. Oh, too soon? No, no, that's fine. All right. <laughs> One, two, fine. three. Hot, hot topic, topic of, of the, the week. week. <laughs> too long? Okay, sure. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Hot topic. <laughs> hot topic. Aww. Oh, Shadow. Uh, rest in peace. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, my god! Kidding. I'm just kidding. He just killed. <laughs> Nothing kills the shadow. <laughs> Nothing kills the shadow. Absolutely. Uh, our uh, hot topic, guys. Once again, we're doing our finale of our E3 preview. E3 is over. All right. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, what, <laughs> what do you think about Sony's presentation? The one that didn't exist. Oh man, that's the best. He was <laughs> subverting expectations <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Microsoft uh, was probably the. It better be the winner, bro. That's all I gotta say. They need to be the winner. Come on, they need to freaking win. Come on. Uh, I, I've 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 heard. Uh, well, actually, I I have something to confess. Um, I lied to you about being on a cruise. I was never on a cruise. I never went to Cuba. I never did. So those pictures are all fake. <laughs> those pictures have been doctored and very well photoshopped. Wow. Well uh, done, sir. I was actually at E3. I'm one of the judges. Oh, uh, from Judges Week. Judges nice. Week. Yes, okay. yes. I am not in liberty to say what I saw, but let me tell you, we are up for an amazing E3. Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> I'm glad you uh, said Glad looks, you think so, sir. It looks pretty good. It looks like he won't disappoint. Nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's uh, bring it in. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to start with Ubisoft, since Yubi. Ubisoft is the last of the big. They always have a two-hour-long, uh, easily two-hour-long conference. I don't do know you, if they're going to have that much to talk about. This yeah, day. I was going to say. Do you expect? That? Well, let's go. So, okay, we're going to jump in on it. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we'll think, you know, we're, we're, do you like? Do, do you have any? Yeah, I have some stuff. But first of all, they mentioned Skull and Bones is not going to be there. Oh man, yeah. no! I've been looking forward to that one, believe it or not, because uh, of the uh, of the Assassin's yeah. of the Assassin's Creed. Like when I play Assassin's Creed Four mm-hmm. and uh, Assassin's Creed uh, the Odyssey, most recently, like the 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 naval the naval fights were like interesting, were good. Like you could see how. And and I'm sure that's what they also saw, of course. How <laughs> one uh, inspired the other, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how this could, and if you take that and you elaborate on it a little bit more, you could make it a very interesting. Uh, I want to call it naval. I guess naval combat simulator. But again, when you see those ships, those ships looks ridiculous. <laughs> right? You can imagine, yeah. It has like fourteen. Uh, what do you call them? The mast. The mast. Oh wow! Okay. And have you seen? Have you no, seen them? No. Dude, they look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> they look like fant- you know, fantasy ships, of course. Oh but, uh, well, I guess that's true. I, yeah. I almost like I, 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 I almost dig it. Okay. I was looking forward to that. So that's not the, that's not going to be there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Shame, they shame, announced shame. it because it got delayed again. Uh, this is one of our oh, news items from last week. That's fine. Take, they didn't take their time. Make yeah, it good. I agree. 
Um, one big thing that I'm sure is going to be there. It needs to be there because they've been talking about it for, for God knows how long. Mm-hmm. And that is Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, yes. I thought you were going to say something else. I'll tell you later. <laughs> well, you can tell me right after this. But yeah. um, first off, I've played the first Beyond Good and Evil. And I still look at this one and I go... I don't know how this connects with the original <laughs> at all. You know what I mean? From the trailers, you mean? The yeah, from the uh, from the trailer and even the gameplay. The gameplay, although the gameplay looks really really good. Maybe they retcon the universe. <laughs> they retcon everything that happened on the Beyond Good and Evil maybe, one. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, they they unveiled Jade. I think the last time they showed uh, the I think it was just a a uh, cinematic trailer. But um, but yeah, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what type of game this is going to be. Um, but I don't know. I don't. I mean, they, this has to be one of the showcases for them. I tell you what. Well, so you're not wrong, mm-hmm. uh, except that I haven't heard enough rumblings on this one to imagine that it'll be there. Uh, I mean, at it's this gotta point, be there. Even if it's even if it's a show, if it's not the main showcase, it's gotta be there. I don't know, man. I I think I think this is dormant because they are restructuring something. They're like. They probably end up releasing it for next generations. I don't expect I mean, it. It does this look. Generation. It does look very next gen. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they they probably want to capture that that, probably, you know, yeah. that that trailer, which hey, you know, it doesn't look bad. But you're right. It, this had been in development for too long for for very long. It has been showing many times. This, this is this is why I'm saying this is probably not the Something time. Up? Okay. This is probably not the time to 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 show this game. One one game that I can assure you will be there. Because again, I was in church this weekend. I'm just gonna spill the beans. Okay, uh, it's gonna be Watch Dogs. 3. Watch Dogs Three. Yes, so, I heard about this. So wa- I wasn't at Judges Week, but I did hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I have some leak footage. No, no, nice. Uh, so so Watch Dogs Three. I mean, I will say it's uh, it's you know long overdue. Uh, it is especially since they're taking off. From Assassin's Creed for this year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like I wouldn't want another Assassin's Creed so soon, especially considering that this one has content. Yeah. This one has, you know, it, it's game. And it's a massive game. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I want to go back to it, believe it or not. Uh, so, uh, so Watch Dogs Three uh, will. It's rumored that it's, uh, it's going to take place uh, in London. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rumor out there is also. That it's gonna be a female character, okay. although I don't give it too much weight on that. Uh, to be honest with you, because it, it almost feels like, oh yeah, open world. It's like when they were saying Grand Theft Auto Five will have a female lead, and of course it never happened. And they always give the the same lame reason. It's like, well, the game won't sell, you know, as much. It, it's 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 market. It's it's for the demographic. It's yeah. you know, it's it's this. So whatever the reason is, that's yeah. that makes me think that 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 that. That this, that might not be the case. Although I would love for it to be, you know, a uh, female hacker trying to infiltrate the hacker, the hacker scene, the hacker scene. You know, they go very deep on it, and uh, maybe some uncover something with the government. You know, because because the thing, the the setting of London, what makes it interesting is that like you don't see like they have a zero tolerance for guns. Uh, but it, it, so so it, in in this type of game, like in Watch Dogs, like the gunplay was never like it it, it clashed way too much. With, with yeah, with the rest of the, was, yeah yeah I got you yeah. Um, and I think I did remember hearing that there's going to be a heavier focus on hacking and 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 your non non weapon uh, gameplay. Yeah, you could use no you know, no leak, no lethal takedowns Correct. and maybe you know use batons and 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 tasers and, and stuff like that uh also the the fact is that uh that the fact that that london is also like a very like a very surveillance uh state like that would make it excellent, excellent an yeah. excellent setting for yeah, it I you agree. know it's basically it what perfect what you yeah. needs like no guns like if they go no guns it'll be very very bossy and awesome mm-hmm. you know you don't it, like make use of Make you know, make your character be you know whatever. If you want to be like almost very, uh, very acrobatic, whatever you know, I, I'm, I don't care. But make it to where it's all about the gadget. It's all yeah. it's all about the stuff you do with the environment. Not just you just decided to you know run around and shoot a person. You know, yeah. 
Because we've been there. That that's done. That's many. Yeah, that's that's a lot again, of games like that. It was like you said. It clashed with the with the storyline. Setting, actually, yeah. Of the, because, uh, the, what is, of the second one. Yeah, least, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So if you if you make it something like that, I believe you can reinvent this into something of its own rather than oh, this is just another open world, you know, uh, third person shooter. Yeah. You know, which there's too many of there's, them. Yeah, there unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. A dime a dozen nowadays. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those are the ones that we know of that they're doing. Uh, maybe they'll show off some of uh, the Division Two DLC stuff like that. Oh, that's that's definitely uh, that's definitely is, is going to be showing uh, more. It's more what do you call uh, more DLC? content? Yeah, more, yeah. more content for Division Two because it, it has been going you know so and well. They're really strong on that. Yeah. One thing I want to see, and this is this is just more of a personal thing for me. It's probably not going to happen because uh-huh. for whatever reason, it's not does not sell. I know you want Mario and Rabbit. Okay, yeah, not the uh, <laughs> Ubi Art guys. We need something from <laughs> Ubi Art. Okay, Ubi Art has to be in a name that we haven't heard. It's been a while. Yeah, uh, Child of Light, and I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, it was the World War Two one. Oh, um, Jesus, I know which one yeah, you're talking yeah. about. It's now escaping me. Oh gosh, yes, I have to look it up. But yeah, dude. so I mean, please look it up because it, 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 it deserves to be named. It is, it is a really cool game, uh, you know, uh, from them. And it was like it took place in during World War. Was it World War One? World War One. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Gosh, and come on. I hate when I can't find stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to kill us and people are yelling at us. They probably what the are. Na- you know, what the name? Uh, it is called Valiant Hearts. Valiant Hearts, the Great yeah. War, yes. It just had a weird name because it, remi- it, it, made, it made me think too much of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Child of Light, Valiant Hearts. And they've done, of course, some, some of the uh, Rain Man games and stuff like that, which are also great for the record. Uh-huh. Uh, but we need something back from them, man. <laughs> I get it, Ubisoft. You want to have an open world. By the way, uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two is also going to be an open world. Uh, of course, that's, multiplayer that's what they spe- specialize on. Yeah, so like. it's like oh, I get it. I get where the money is, guys. But you got to <laughs> deliver them the good sometimes, All and right. that's that's what I'm hoping for. I just I don't see it happening, All unfortunately. Right. Uh, I'm gonna give you what delivers because you're absolutely right. Nobody cares about UbiArt. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, ju- I'm just kidding. No, I would. Th- I would definitely love to see something uh, from them because that, that's when you get the original games. You know, that's when we are gonna get the open world. You know, third, yeah. you know, yeah. third person shooters or whatever. Like we're tired of that. Got it. Hundred percent with that. You know what we should also get? We always also do already over freaking do from Ubisoft. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, Splinter Sa- Cell. Splinter Cell, <laughs> yeah, 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 Splinter Cell. Sam freaking Absolutely, Fisher. Yeah. Yep. You know, and, and actually, that, you know what? It may be, it, yeah, this is, it may be this time. Is it it may be time to, 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 yeah. You think this is the one, huh? That's a, yeah, that's a good title. I mean, they, I think we said we it haven't even, had one even in last this year. Generation. Yeah, I think we mentioned it last year. I said, you know, with Metal Gear obviously not coming back, the whole, mm-hmm. you know, stealth action so actually, type of thing. This is the, yeah, this, is yeah. the, this is the moment. And, and the problem is that I, I felt like. They just went too far and weird with the character, and then trying to bring it back to it, you, you know, they they took it too far from from where, it's where roots, Sam yeah. Fisher was, mm-hmm. and then they tried to reel him to you know back to where it didn't make sense in the world. So I say, hey, just redo you know this character altogether. Don't try to like just just re yeah yeah remaster. just start over no, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. reboot Remake it. Yeah. yeah reboot reboot it, and uh, so so. So I I think we might you know see a trailer or you know of it. Okay. Of course, it's gonna have the the now famous day, you know when you turn on the goggles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how it starts. That's actually. how it. Oh yeah. And that's when the world flips and shit. Like oh. Oh my God. yes. Sam Fisher. They can't just do that though. Don't no. bring us that and then not show us. It. It's been too oh, long. No, yeah. You, you got a little. You got to do a little more than that. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Can't you, be. Gotta, you gotta have a game. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You gotta show more. You, you can't be teasing anymore. Correct. You gotta, yeah, yeah, I agree. Come I agree, hundred percent. But but in in reality, do you think it happened? Do you, you do you see it? I'm a the, little concerned. I, I I tell you what. Honestly, I, I I would put more. I would put more on that. Uh-huh. Than I would on, well, no, because the other ones is probably being good to, and evil. Yeah, yeah, being on good and evil, yeah. 
You think I would, so? Uh, yeah, I would put more on on them revealing this than showing Beyond Good and Evil. I mean, again. what else would they? What else would they show? Of course, they already I mean, they announced. Always do their, they always do their Dance Dance Revolution and all that crazy, <laughs> crazy uh, Ubisoft craziness. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the uh, oh no, not, what's the other one? Uh, they have just a dance? Sh- just dance. Thank you. I'm oh sorry, God, just dance. <laughs> you're gonna talk yeah. about just dance. Oh, they always do every t- every time. <laughs> every like... and they actually like have a musical <laughs> montage of the of people dancing. So <laughs> so they'll have the just dance, uh, and of course, I, I, I mean, yeah, that's those are the ones that they have to. Have. <laughs> yeah, they have to. It's time. <laughs> Either that, and they'll probably throw in a new IP because they always they always seem to bring a new. IP. Whether you're into it or not, like mm-hmm. when they brought out Steep. Um, when yeah. you're into it or not, it's it's still I played Steep. Hey, yeah, I'll, it's actually not bad. You are, you play Steep? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's free, right? It was free. Yeah, I was like, this is nice. If you're into the whole snowboarding. Well, I, I like I like snowboarding. See, I, I love. I'm a huge fan of SS, SSX. SSX, yeah. But well, that's unfortunately, that. that's EA, and that's never gonna happen again because <laughs> fuck you, EA. Because EA because sucks. Because you stupid. But but I I, I think. I mean, there's definitely been some rumblings about Sam Fisher. You know, obviously, there, yes. there, 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 there has been too many, uh, you know, rumors and his his appearance in the, there's a there's a mission that has to do with Sam Fisher that is on on the on Ghost Recon's Wildland. Oh, oh, Ghost Recon. So is another title, and I think they actually had. Oh, there is a Ghost Recon, a Ghost Recon coming out already. Yeah, 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 which I was surprised. Yeah, it's, I, it's kind of, it feels kind of fast, right? I thought that I thought that they would. Well, maybe this is just like, and you'll see more at E3. You know, oh, okay. that, they're definitely yeah. going to show that. That's yeah, a given. Yeah. That's yeah, that that's a given. Um, but yeah, the Sam Fisher one, I don't know, man. I as much as I love the idea, I think Sam Fisher will be back, but it won't be back until for uh, for this generation consoles. I think this is one that they open up. Oh, you I know, think I think it will be in this generation console. You think so? Yeah, I yeah. would love for it to be to, yeah. to be the case. I mean, I'm sure it'll be like on both, essentially the crossover thing that they oh, normally no. do at the beginning of the generation. Yeah, it's oh, happening. That, be... I know we don't want it, but let's be real: a hundred million PS4s <laughs> versus <laughs> however many PS5s sold at that point. Well, it's, it's, the, just... it's the perfect it's the perfect game for streaming all for for streaming service for. Game oh, okay. services that stream. I don't know. I don't have to call them anymore. Like when, like it, game is service. No, no, oh. God, no. For uh, for for games that you stream, like like that Google, like yeah, the Google Twitch project. games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, the the opposite of Twitch, actually. Oh no, I'm talking not streaming for viewing, streaming for playing. I mean, playing like on the Google. Expedia, oh it's no, or oh, yeah, or right. the Microsoft Next Gen, uh, because it, it because it's not a Twitchy game. It's a game kind of like uh, uh, Assassin's Creed, which was the poster child for the study. The, the, the Stadia, the Stadia. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, but it's I mean, yeah, but they're not going to not have it available. It just no, it no, just no, no. I'm not saying, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, I, no, definitely. I'm not saying th- there won't be. This normal fashion, but I'm saying I'm saying that the reason why they keep it for the next generation is because they could take advantage uh, of the fact that hey, and you could also play it this way, you know. But it's definitely gonna yeah. we're definitely gonna have our normal you know way of playing it, you know. The, our what would you call that? The old media. <laughs> the yeah, sure. <laughs> the old hardware. The old, the, yeah. the, the old the old way. <laughs> <laughs> when you blew on a cartridge, <laughs> remember? Yeah. Well, by the way, funny we didn't mention it, or maybe you guys talked about it last week, mm. maybe about the U.S. Leg- legislation or the, the 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 proposed bill to uh, uh, to exert control on loot, on boxes. loot boxes. Yeah, we actually talked about it before. We talked about yeah. it last, last last week. I believe I think we talked about it because this week is recent. The well, the tariffs is recent. The tariffs are uh, recent. Yeah, yeah, that's that. But the no. but the actual bill to to legislate against that, we spoke about that before. I think you were still here. I feel like this is something that I feel very or or I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it's it is gaining uh, traction, more traction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it seems party to. Sense, party it sense. seems to to be gaining more traction. Yeah, and and, and it is like I I mean I I posted about it uh, about it recently. It's almost like, well. How do you feel? You know, how do you feel about it? I'm sorry to make a, a side a sign up from our hot topic of the week, but this is important because it, it you know it, it affects us uh, us gamers. Uh, 
And I, I, I don't think there are many of us that will say, oh, yeah, we love loot boxes. You know, we love, uh, you know, microtransactions and, and stuff like that. Like, we have felt the, the, the certain levels of abuse from the, from the, um, from the from publishers from, and yeah. developers the and game, game makers, industry, whoever whoever's making the design, know, in, in general, in. exactly. So, like, how do you feel about you know about the fact that okay, this seems like it could be happening, like it could be becoming. I mean, something. <clears throat> I think it's it's still personally, I still think it's very early. Um, oh yeah, because we're talking about two, three people out of the entire government who mm -hmm. are talking about this, so. It's got to get into more ears. Mm -hmm. It's got to get into more people's faces for them to even start caring about it. Um, and of course, you know, there are lobbyists who are going to be lobbying against those uh, things oh because yeah. ESRB. I mean, correct? Yeah, the ESA they're all going to be right there. Yeah, exactly. So they're all going to have. They're going to. They're going to do what they can. Mm -hmm. They can try to scream as much louder than these two, three uh, senators who are like. Yeah, mm -hmm. we feel that we should, you know what I mean? So, yeah. not that it cannot happen, but it's still kind of early. So, as far as if it does happen, I mean, that again, that's it's good it's it can be good, it can be bad, it can be good in the sense that well, now we can we can focus on on games that don't rely on this hey loot box whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but it could also be bad because now we're Allowing the government to come in and, and do certain things to gaming mm -hmm. industry that we didn't want before, yeah, uh, and also by doing so and and then throwing in the the you know Trump uh, Trump tariffs that were mentioning uh, earlier, mm. uh, that again is kind of early on that, but you go all that together now. Oh, you that's look, happening. The that, tariffs are <coughs> real. The it's well, already yeah, yeah. it's already starting to shake up some of the yeah. So now you're looking at industry. our favorite hobby being probably a little more expensive. With the tariffs, with the fact that we're we're moving uh, loot boxes, mm -hmm. that's a revenue stream that's not going to be there for them. So suddenly, they're gonna sixty dollar games are going to be more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's Which, just. Which I might argue like, hey, that should have been the route if you thought if, if game developing is so expensive, uh, you know, to, to make, then just make it more expensive rather than try to nickel and dime me and try to uh, uh, trick. You know the or maybe trick is not the right word, but um, how would you go, not not brainwash either? I don't want to use strong words, you know. But at the same time, it's almost like when you when when you're showing when when you are uh, grooming, yeah, you know, or leading, so, yeah, you're, you're, you're people to to believe that this you know casino like. You know, uh, it, environment, it, environment yeah. Yeah. is completely the norm. Normal, and yeah. it's okay for young people. Yeah, and you start actually who have spending to their parents' wallets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You start spending like real world money. You know, on intangibles, then that's when it becomes uh, that's become a problem. I have taken a stand of, hey, you know what? I don't like the idea of the government getting involved in uh, on it, but it's uh, the, the game industry. There's blood. There's not blood, but there is. <laughs> There is fault on the game industry. They have been warned and they have been careless. And now, fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Uh, at I the end of the day, it's it's. All I can say is thank you, EA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? It's yeah. it's uh, now deal with it. Yeah. And let's see how let's see how. Come. Hey, I I would like to see change. You know, let's see let's see what happens. I mean, it could be good. It could just like you say, it could be it could be bad. But it, it, something I mean, needed to know, happen. Yeah, yeah. We don't know until it, till it moves. And now that now that it's the moves are happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 We were getting like little by little, we were getting less game and more casino. <laughs> you know, more uh, loot box bullshit. Yeah. And yeah, maybe maybe this will put the scare. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, <laughs> it'll be interesting them. to see how many. It'll be interesting to see how many people mention. Mm. Either loot boxes or there are no loot boxes. You know the fact right. that oh, don't worry, this game is not going to include. Oh yeah, this yeah exactly. You know what I mean? It'll be it'll be interesting and to no see how, how loot boxes. yeah yeah yeah. <sighs> yeah. It'll be interesting to see how many how many times that comes up in the uh, conference. Oh no, they, <laughs> they they normally come out. They just say, and the loot boxes are totally cosmetic, and you see the fool. <sighs> Yeah, I'll pay you sixty dollars and then I'll pay you more money for cosmetic. Yeah, yeah that's how it works. Yeah, and back to the, our well, I mean, that's, schedule. Yeah. That's all actually I have for uh, Ubisoft. Yeah, 
Um, so I wanted to kind of go into some of the other companies that don't actually do um, press conferences, but obviously release games. Like uh, Sony? Like, well, they're not going to be there, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, for instance, uh, WB, right? WD uh, will actually be bringing over Cyberpunk 2077, believe it or not. But, oh, yeah. But uh, I have a strong feeling that this is... Well, first of all, it was shown off in Microsoft's uh, stage last year. And yeah. I have a feeling... That is going to happen again this year, obviously, because there's nowhere else to show it. Uh, but, Duh. yeah, but... Uh, well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. This is not going to be a separate trailer. Uh, this is going to be a, uh, a media show. Who knows? Microsoft. Maybe hands-on, maybe even uh, gameplay, a little bit more gameplay. Didn't we get gameplay last time? Well, we didn't get gameplay. The insiders got gameplay. That we got rest. gameplay a few months after that. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right. That's which was, was amazing for the record. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so this is the one where okay. So, so what you're saying is, it, or I, I, or I put the question to you is, so is this the one where Microsoft pushes for a big marketing campaign? Yes. With with this <laughs> game. Yes. Well, oh. I think it's already to get. I think they're already linked. Yeah. Yeah. That's I think true. it's already happening. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Otherwise, they wouldn't be. So we're showing that much at correct, the, uh, correct. The event. Yeah, yeah. I guess I get okay. So I guess we know what the first thirty-five minutes of Microsoft conference it is gonna may be, be. <laughs> and people are gonna be like, "Yeah, that's the only thing that they had to show, and it was amazing." Microsoft won by default. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Oh god. Uh, then we have Capcom. Uh, Capcom. Yeah. So remember when talking about Capcom was almost a joke. Where like yeah, it's Capcom. Not, not too long ago. It's yeah. like <laughs> Street Fighter Five. You do you, you do shit to bed with that one? Didn't yeah, you? they did. They and did. Uh, and they come back. Now. Yeah, they've come back strong. Now Capcom is like, oh, Capcom, right this way, sir. <laughs> um, I wonder if uh, we're gonna see another remake, uh, probably revealed that they revealed. The Resident Evil 2 remake at Sony's conference last year. Mm -hmm. Sony's not here this year. We don't know if they're going to partner at all with uh, Microsoft, but they might because, frankly, there's no other console. <laughs> I think it's too soon for for a Resident Evil remake. No, no. But I was thinking something along the lines of Dino Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> a game, are you serious? A game, yes, a game that, I mean, let me roll these are rumors and these are very unsubstantiated rumors <laughs> for the record. But wow. they are out there. There are some um, some some sites going, uh, we've heard or mentioned that there's <laughs> prototypes of whatever and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about Dino Crisis reboot <laughs> or I remake or whatever. Want, 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 yeah, want, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you ever play the other ones? Dino I, Crisis? D uh, Dino Crisis, the original one. Yeah. You did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. They, I don't know. They were, they, were, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, were, they were definitely a cash grab. If, if yeah. Get, you know what I'm saying? They but, were. But. They yeah. Were cheap. I mean, that's what you expect. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's possible. Yeah. Uh, what about Platinum Games? Where do you think you would come from Platinum? Oh, God. If, well, if. 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 If I rule the <laughs> world, imagine that. I last platinum to show near Automata 2. <laughs> but that won't happen, baby. Uh, how about... um? Not in Disney 3. Bayonetta 3. Oh, but, uh, see, that's Nintendo. I know. And that is... But it's also platinum. That's, no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying it's like, that needs to happen. So they sh they do show it, and they'll probably be Nintendo. Obviously, it will be Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that 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 is happening. By another three, it's it's. Platinum Game has also gone on record as saying that they are going to they're making a game that's never been done before. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's it. This is so. This what is, do you think that means? Oh, <laughs> well, let me see. It is um, a rice cooking simulation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game about it, cooking it, rice, and it have its own rice cooker and everything. Uh, it can be considered that's never been done before. <laughs> there you yeah, go. that's pretty vague. <laughs> never, when they said that. Be, never done before. Like, like what is like what is that? It, I don't uh, know. Don't get me wrong. I I, I, I thought I, there are games for everything except for maybe porn. Yeah. But then again, no, there, there is. That's, yeah. that's, that's a just, big. That's just not in your regular place. marketplace. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> so what? What is not, the, uh, dude? It's like you know, they have been the, the the idea of video games taking to the next level is when they start mixing 
with real with real life yeah. stuff. Like even if it's a server somewhere with some AI or some program shit, I don't know. But you start getting messages on your phone. You start getting uh, maybe you need to pick up a fax and fuck it, you need to pay up to Damn. to, to <laughs> Kinkos and get a fax, or whatever. You, just you send just me a text. Need to <laughs> no, that, that that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like remember remember that mobile game that you were playing? Yes, I remember. Uh, that. Where you were talking to it was a, your it was refugee a text girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and it was it was like a text conversation. Exactly, and you will get you'll be getting texts from from uh from from, from this. Uh, character, you know, from this game character, like randomly, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it would, like, we would talk for a little bit, and and I'd answer questions, and sometimes, sometimes I can select something, sometimes I can just kind of yeah, moving yeah. along. Uh, and then she's like, okay, I'll I'll talk to you later, and then that's it. The game stops at that point. Yeah. And then I just exit out of the uh, out of the okay, game. Yeah. And then the you know a few hours later, I'd get a notification. Oh, I got a text from. I forgot. Someone. I need to I need to get that. Yeah. Actually. It's um it's interesting, but I think you were there for the end. My ending, which apparently is a bad ending. Yeah, it so, was a very yeah, sad. Yeah. Well, or a sad ending, the situation guess, yeah. it is, it's kind of like correct to yeah. and think about. But like stuff like that, like if you want to do something that has never been done before, and actually this, I'm I'm like this. This actually has been done. It just hasn't been explored as much. But there was a PC game a real long time ago that it was that it was about you putting clues together. But sometimes the clues you will have to like call this number. Or oh, get a okay. fax, or you know stuff like that. So now you can you you can actually get, you know, make it, make it sort of like that game that you were just describing, mm-hmm. but using your real email, and it'll send you, you know, an, an email, and it'll give you, you know, something, and at whatever time, you know, at random time, like that's stuff that, that you know, make, make the weather has something to do with it, you know, also that the current weather on whatever you know area is like the you know. Get those elements involved, of yeah. of reality and involve them in game, and now you have actually done a game that has never been done before. You know, if it's just gonna I be a video game, I don't know if I trust game, Platinum to do something like that because I know, yeah, they haven't. I mean, not, th- not that they're a bad developer in any way. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that. Nope. Um, but what they've done, mm-hmm. they, they they tend to be within the action, 3D action genre, almost right. exclusively. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I don't. I mean, I mean, going outside of that. It's great and it works for people who, for companies who do and they they you know Horizon Zero Dawn is the first one that comes to mind. Gorilla was doing first person shooters and suddenly they do an open world uh, adventure game and it's amazing. You know what I mean? Um, can well, they pull that off? When you have something like a Pokemon Go from Ni- Niantic. Niantic, yeah. Uh, remember that was hey you go outside yeah. that's that was not done before oh actually it kind of was but it kind of was wasn't. yeah but this definitely brought it to the forefront so, so, yeah. exactly yeah. so stuff like that yeah you're right probably you know what this probably has been all a mistranslation yeah they meant to say <laughs> it's a game that we have never done before <laughs> and they were like oh it's a game that has never been done before no 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 we, we have never, never done, done before yes. we've never done it, it, it's it's a data yeah. simulator yeah yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> it's called Catherine. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. it's a fossil. I can't wait for Catherine. Really? Yeah. Oh yes, I'm getting it again. You're getting I, it. Yeah. yeah. Did you, I played the. I owned the first one. But it was on PlayStation Three. Yeah. But the new Catherine, when it comes out, hell yeah, dude. That's a. That's a. You that's like a buy. That much? Hell yeah, it was a great game. You don't like really? it? Really? I. I I didn't hate it. I was. Well, it was around <laughs> the time where it. I was expecting Persona and not a fucking puzzler. Uh, it's not so bad, just actually. Hating. Okay. No, it's not, <laughs> it's not bad. I actually enjoyed this story quite a bit. So here's another uh, company that we have been desperately waiting for some information from. Konami. <laughs> Rocksteady Games. <laughs> oh God, Rocksteady! Wow. They didn't show anything last year. They were not there at all last year. And last year we we're all like, sure, sure. "It's about time. It's yeah, about time." Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't about time. I'll tell you right now, so, it's not about time. <laughs> it's still not about time. No. Rock <laughs> Come steady. on, Rocksteady, bring something. <laughs> they, they, got not, they got nothing. And if they did, where would they show it? It'll have to be... You know, It'll be at the Microsoft conference. <laughs> oh, yeah, There's no one so. else. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, this class, they're going to be at the Sony conference this year. <laughs> okay. So maybe they'll show it there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the conference has not happened. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, those are the ones that I have. What do you think of uh, anybody? Any other games that can come to mind, or franchises that can make a comeback? And where would they make the comeback? Well, I mean, and this, and I know you, we, or maybe you, uh, 
uh, and Chaos talk about it, but uh, you know, obviously Microsoft needs to bring their gears and their halos because they there's did. nothing else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, as no, as far as the oh man, I don't know. I I think um, like who are who are the remaining players? Obviously, we know that the, major players. The, I mean, well, no, they necessarily have to be major, but like because um, Activision is never there. No, and good riddance. Who cares? I mean, it doesn't uh, matter. Call of Duty is there, and that's there. So yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, but that's Destiny. usually at yeah, that's usually at Sony's conference. So yeah, wonder where this one's gonna be. <laughs> well, again, they have nothing to show, so therefore, <laughs> true. Know, yeah, yeah. This this might be a trailer. Yeah, this might be just. I mean, they're talking about the trailer, you know, being shown soon. So yeah, so, which will probably be shown probably before it. it, yeah. it exactly, yeah. exactly. That's probably gonna be all you know all there is to it. But uh, as far as uh, it's just fun. It's honestly, this is the point where I'm kind of going. Sony not being there, mm-hmm. it, you feel it's the kind of different. Yeah, it's kind of like wow. It's because it, I mean I'm thinking, oh wait, no way, that will be on Sony. Then I'm thinking, oh no, that will yeah. be on Sony too. So I'm like, man, they're just not gonna be there. But <laughs> you know what I mean. But at the same time, the 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 uh, I mean. From the from the from what I've heard of oh, people that have been on on, on judges weeks, uh, so far, uh, obviously they're on the embargo. They can't talk about Correct, you know, yeah. about it, but they have it has been positive. Like they're saying, like okay, this 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 is this is probably one of those E3s where they, there's a strong lineup to show. Nice. Okay. And I'm thinking like, wow, is that the case? And Sony's not even there, so. This is this this is this That's could be thing, interesting. Yeah. This I could mean, be it's going to be a lot of. I mean, obviously, with Microsoft, but it'll be a lot of third parties. Yeah, what it's, yeah when yeah, you yeah. think about it, like, well, of, this is going to be the one where we finally get to see proper Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, you know, hopefully, and uh, oh yeah, so that, that they can't. It does have to, yeah. but yeah, does uh, it have to? <laughs> <laughs> it better. It better <laughs> indeed. It yes, I agree. Uh, I agree. This is. Uh, so you know, so so you know, you know, we get that we're already talking about uh, something interesting from you know from Ubisoft with Watch Dogs three yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, and and you know titles like that that and and and, and possibly new IP that which they, oh, like I said, Ubisoft is is consistent uh-huh. with bringing one new title. Yeah, you know what I mean, and we'll see. I mean, they they definitely will. I'm sure Microsoft definitely has to. Um, I think Rocksteady is going to do something. <laughs> and I think they're going to bring their you know Superman I'll, or whatever the hell it probably is. Yeah. Now, nah, they'll probably see Bioshock first. Bioshock Ooh, Space. Ooh, yes. 2K <laughs> Games. 2K. A Bioshock. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do it to me. Although, of course, of course, uh, yeah. <laughs> God, no. Jesus. It's a colony that was uh, built on uh, the, uh, the moon of Io. <laughs> and it is called, uh, it, is, it takes place in the 1960s uh, during the Cold War. Actually, wow. I don't know when the Cold War was. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it is, you know, it, it, they created a base on the moon, on the on the moon of Io, not on our moon, because it needs the to moon be. of Io. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Io is the Io moon is the moon of, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. and the, the moon, moon of, Io. <laughs> of what? Saturn, Jupiter. Io is from who cares? I think. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are some new players. Uh, well. A new some, challenger. Uh, uh, yeah, a couple new challengers. First off, for some reason, Limited Run Games is holding its E3 conference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and it's probably the only place to see a PlayStation Vita at E3. <laughs> All what they right. Say. So that Vita lineup. Uh, yeah. Looking strong. Huh? That's going to actually be at. 3 p.m. Eastern time on the Monday. So there's an additional on, on conference the there. Uh, four thirty, no, hold on, uh, seven thirty, uh, that night. The kind of funny game showcase is gonna happen, which mm-hmm. they, uh, if anything is, if it's anything like last year, last year they didn't do E three, they did um something towards December. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a lot of indie titles, uh, which is right up my alley, sir, right, <laughs> right up my alley. And then, of course, the PC gaming show. Ah, finally! <laughs> yeah, I was waiting to see because we all we it. all want to see the new Nvidia drivers. You know <laughs> what I mean? Because the GTX 
the DTX 2084. <laughs> keep going. Keep yeah, going. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, the new, I don't know, Excel spreadsheets. Uh, they're probably going to be bringing Eve online uh, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, PC gaming show everybody's go. be excited yeah please be excited for the new uh video cards this is the one, <laughs> literally this is the one where ATI is going to be showing their new lineup of Radeon <laughs> video card I are have, you excited for Navi I have no idea what you just said <laughs> <laughs> no, cl- no clue what hey, that any of what you just said listen. means <laughs> listen. yeah that's all I need a hey. damn Freaking a fairy. A fairy flying around me saying, Hey, hey, do you need something? <laughs> do you need something here with the drivers? <laughs> yeah, like, oh. That's it. So look forward to that as well, guys. Yeah. That's all that'll be at one PM on that. Uh, Ooh, and we'll be reporting live. And we, I'm the host and have the party. Yes. AKA my yes. Uh, so yeah, let's let's take a quick look at the times here, right? So we have Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll actually be Microsoft will be on Sunday. And that'll be three thirty p.m. Eastern. Bethesda will follow at eight fifteen Eastern, and then yeah. of course Devolver Digital, uh, which at like one a.m. The yes and yes. <laughs> By the way, I didn't mention Devolver Digital, but yep, I'm looking forward to Devolver <laughs> Digital. <laughs> of course, too. Uh, of course because we are. They're too cool for school. Let's be real. <laughs> Uh, Ubisoft will be at 3.30 p.m. on the Monday. Ubi. Square Enix will be at 8.45 uh, p.m. Also on the Monday. And then, of course, the Limited Run Games, Kind of Funny Showcase, and the PC Gaming Show. So those are all the shows, essentially. And then, of course, Nintendo does their own thing on Tuesday. So. Oh, I was going to say, so Tuesday, I took Tuesday off for nothing? The <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's when actually the, the actual game floor opens up to the public. Yeah, that, so. yeah, yeah. But Tuesday used to be where okay, this is the one where Sony and 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 uh, Tuesday, Nintendo. No. Was, it was always Monday. No, remember back when E3 was normal. Oh, there was no Sunday. It was always Monday Microsoft, and then on Tuesday, uh, no Sony and Sony and was always in the, at the night slot on the same day that Microsoft did it. Well, it 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 it, it, it but it was Monday. It was Monday. Yeah. Okay. That was Monday. You're probably right on that, but but there was never a Sunday. There was never a Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Now we have a Sunday, and we have to decide. Where are we going to see this on Sunday? Because I know, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that brings us to the end of an awesome episode, guys. Tune in to next week's show where oh. I will unfortunately not be here. But uh, <laughs> David Santos will be taking a name and, <laughs> and enter her name here yes. of, <laughs> of the co-host. Yes. Whoever wants to help me with this thing. <laughs> Is more than welcome because we all know how it went last time that you left. Really? I thought it was okay. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and, uh, yeah the, exactly. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I guess that sounds wrong, but I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, as always, please go to goodgame.tech, join the conversation there, and please like and subscribe and share the podcast with all your friends. This is Mad Dog. AKA Arnaldo, signing off for this week. Mr. Santos, take us home. All right, where you live? I'll uh, drive you there. That's okay. I got an Uber. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> fine. Are you sure? You have had a couple of those. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about here, sir. Uh, sir, I only drank two. You drank four. And by the way, we that never disclosed what we were drinking. A vicious lie. Oh, yes. At the end of the podcast, we'll At the end of the podcast, this podcast mention. is not sponsored by Florida Avenue Brewing Company Woo! presents. TPA <laughs> brown ale. Did you complete your TPA report? Uh, I did. You know, you, evidently you, I had four of them. So. We're using well, we're using the new cover sheets on our TPA report. <laughs> okay. And yes, it's not TPA. We know it's the play on word we're using. Of course. Yes. And that's it. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. GG. GG!